and uh, so to introduce myself i am anupam thombre okay uh, i have been doing uh, photography for past 8 years now um, i have done my uh, msc in communications engineering from uk durham university and i was working in uh, kpit uh, uh, with sap as a senior uh, technical consultant one one day passion to pour and i left uh, that job and i started with photography completely uh, till uh, a year back i was completely into commercial weddings you throw anything at me and i was doing it like passion everything everything uh, all together uh but like you know since a year uh, or maybe i can say uh, since this uh, lockdown started i had a good amount of time to think and rechannelize myself and uh, like you know re uh, align my genre completely and that is when i uh, went into wildlife nature uh, for a full time uh, i have been uh, like you know giving workshops uh, from then from january Uh, I have a good amount of uh, students, uh, say around 170 or students, uh, who have been trained under me. Um, I generally, I'll tell you one thing. I generally do not conduct group sessions uh, because um, one thing I believe is like you know everybody has their own capacity to like you know learn and grasp uh, things, and these uh, softwares are a bit technical to understand. Uh, but like you know, um, so what I do is I generally uh, teach one on one. Uh, like you know, I and whatever I teach, I teach right from basics to advanced. So I don't have anything called as very basic and intermediate or anything as such. Jo bhi topic I'm teaching, I started right from start and I take it till the end. So um, that is how I teach. But uh, Lightroom is such a topic that like you know, uh, why why I'm taking this session in a group. is because lightroom is a tool which i believe which you can use on field after coming from a safari in your hotel uh, to quick edit some photos and to put on your instagram or social media and just to tell what you saw for that day that is why uh, lightroom can be used but when you say post processing in detail um i i work on uh, lightroom plus photoshop plus tk7 plus uh nick collections plus uh, and all these softwares i integrate and i have created my own very own detailed work like you know process flow or work flow flow to edit all my images so um that is all about me and uh, uh, i just want to quickly hear five sentences about yourself so that i know who i am speaking to what you basically do let's start with uh, vinayak sir uh, hi hello good hi. evening Uh, mm-hmm. my name is vinayak patil uh-huh. basically i am from mumbai um, uh-huh. currently i am on project uh, in maskat oh wow uh, i am from i am from it field uh, working in a gis mm-hmm. and i was like passionate about photography and all those things still i will call myself as amateur uh, like i didn't try any other uh, this thing But basically i like uh, nature or this things photography mm-hmm. landscapes kind of thing Okay. but my one of the blocking thing i what 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 you can say is after coming the editing part okay. that's where i'm stuck mostly still okay so i'm trying to work on it and that's why i joined this session okay. actually we have one photography group over here uh, yes. it's called uh, friday shootout oh okay. and one of the uh, mr paul has uh, published your link okay recommended that Yeah, that's how I came. Really good friend of mine. Actually, we are all yes, uh, yes, admins yes. in uh, WNWP. And uh, okay, yes, correct. <laughs> Great. And Great. I saw your work, and uh, I was impressed, and that's why I immediately joined. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank uh, what you, equipment do you use? Huh? What equipment? I have a Nikon uh, D750. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Uh, but still, I'm not ha- having. I'm mean, the lenses. Still, I'm. Not particular particular about the lenses. Currently, I'm having 28, 300 just for travel. I used okay. then 85 mm, 50 mm kind of thing. Okay, so, so I will have to work on that also. So basically, you are your currently at the starting position, like you know, uh, yes, trying your hands and everything. Okay. Correct. Great. So um, we have one more uh, addition. Uh, 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 yes. Okay. So Sushil, uh, good evening. 
ओके सो इट वाज नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू नाइक सर थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग योरसेल्फ डॉक्टर साहब आनंद सर कैन यू जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ सर योर माइक इज ऑन म्यूट योर माइक इज ऑन म्यूट कैन यू जस्ट अनम्यूट इट yeah uh, my name is anand um, i'm a doctor pediatrician um, oh. i've been doing photography for the last 2 years uh, mainly in the nature photography uh, and um, i do a lot of stage photography uh, dances and all that uh, uh, i do fairly well i i have a nikon d500 a tamron 150 to 600 and other lenses great uh, i i do my processing in capture in next d okay uh, but it is good uh, the photos are Come out quite uh, fairly well, but I feel that Lightroom probably is uh, slightly more better, uh, and uh, uh, so so I thought you know uh, maybe to move on to the next higher level, um, you know. So I thought uh, let me uh, and of course Paul only recommended your course, so okay. uh, let, let me see. You know, it's just practice. Actually, practice is more important. Yes, so, absolutely. So let us see. Thank you. Great, great. Thank you. Thanks to that. I mean, it was great knowing you, sir. uh minakshi uh, can you just introduce yourself i'm not able to see you <laughs> <laughs> hello sir yes. myself minakshi uh -huh. i'm basically from bhopal mp se hu main teacher hu lekin Great. photography meri hobby hai uh, 2013 se main photography karti hu specially wow. birds wow aur mera ha birds mein birds ko main zyada prefer karti hu yes i saw uh, your profile i saw your profile <laughs> thank you sir और मेरा सबसे मतलब मैं वीक हो जाती हूँ एडिटिंग में जैसा कि मैंने आपको मैसेज भी किया था हमारी फ्रेम बड़ी रहती है उसमें बर्ड्स हमें थोड़ा छोटा मिलता है मैं बाकी सबके देखी हुई थी उनकी डिटेल्स नहीं जाती है तो ना मुझे फोटोशॉप आता है ना मुझे लाइट रूम आता है ठीक से तो बस वही मेरा प्रॉब्लम है आई होप की आज मुझे सोल्यूशन मिल जाएगा सोल्यूशन तो मिल जाएगा थोड़ा महंगा सोल्यूशन है जिनको पता है ये क्यों होता है थोड़ा महंगा सोल्यूशन है Why? What is going wrong? Where is uh, where it's going wrong? And good. Yes, I mean, uh, you are a clean slate. I think I can like you know give you a good process flow. So let's let's hope for a good session. Uh, Varun, can you introduce yourself? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Hi. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Hi. My name is Varun Fiske, and I just graduated my twelfth standard. So mm -hmm. currently, I am in MIT doing my mass com. so i'm learning i'm act not actually learning i'm pursuing photography as a hobby for la for the last two years so yeah that's uh, i i can do photography but uh, the editing part i'm not so keen on it and i would love to uh, get my hands uh, set on lightroom so that great. Um, great great and what equipment do you use uh, i use a nikon d5300 i have a 70 to 300 lens and uh and a 50 mm for portraits or street photography okay good good rajendran sir introduce yourself please hi sir i am rajendran i am a business manager in bangalore okay. like working in a chain of stores okay and this is my hobby practicing from past two years okay okay i right now i'm very interested in only wildlife uh, photograph but i never edited my photos because uh, <laughs> basically i don't know how to do it Okay. So uh, I hope I will learn something from you today, and then start uh, editing okay. the photos. And I use uh, Nikon five three double zero. Okay. I have a kit lens along with that. Okay. And when I go out, I hire the lens two hundred five hundred. So two hundred five hundred you use. Yeah, yeah. Great. It's a good combination. Good. Uh, it was nice knowing you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sushil ji, uh, can you just uh, introduce yourself? What you do and what equipment you use in Why you decided to join the workshop? What do you seek from the workshop? Sushil ji, you can just uh, unmute yourself. I think so. He's away from the desk. It seems okay. Anyways, so um, to start with, like you know, um, I'll first. Ah uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes. 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 You are there. Okay. Sir, uh, please uh, introduce yourself quickly. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, yes, I am uh, Sushil Kumar. Sushil Kumar, uh -huh. and I am from Canada. Right now, I am stuck in, in Delhi. So okay. you know, uh, I have joined like our there is a group in uh, IIT Bombay group. We okay. share photographs. Uh, if you know Mr. Puri, so through okay. him, I was interested in learning about Puri. Puri, okay. Mr. Puri. मंजूर भाई 
Oh, okay, okay. I, I haven't so heard of introduced us yeah. and so on. And what equipment do you use? So he recommended you and then just okay. I use the Nikon uh, D5200 and I have a zoom which is uh, I think from 50 to 250. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, all of you uh, go for uh, birding and uh, wildlife regularly. Uh, like, how how do you do it? I don't go regularly, but whenever I go, like because uh, since I am in uh, Calgary, which is very close mm -hmm. to uh, that national park, so we go to the park very, you know, oh, every summer. Oh. Uh, so, so during this time, we, we do come across wildlife, and uh, yes, uh, I enjoy wildlife photography as well, but. Uh, I really don't have the patience to go and sit in one place for one hour or two that hours. Is, no. is what is the key? You Just on the need a lot of patience. <laughs> I know, I know. So it's like because in in Canada, I've been particularly in bands. When you are driving there, you come across wildlife. So I've come across yes. black bear, uh, and I've come across so many other there is animals, of and of course birds. Yeah. I have quite a yeah, quite yeah. a lot of them, but <laughs> I would have never tried. Uh, you know doing post processing okay kind of thing okay great so so um i believe um, almost all of us are like you know uh, uh, we all shoot okay but uh, we don't um, post process or we don't know the uh, the importance of post processing uh, and like you know uh, presenting in, in front of the world i'll tell you why what happens okay uh, photography when you see from past like you know from 100 years 150 years whenever the art came into existence um, there were two parts of it okay one is capturing with your equipment and one is developing okay nowadays what has happened because of digital photography the development part has gone at the back seat and only the clicking part has taken the importance but that is not how it should be. The circle gets completed only when you like, you know, shoot the thing, get it back into your dark, dark room, make it presentable. See, uh, there are two types of editing. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll be very clear and uh, like, you know, uh, precise to the point. There is a thin line in between post processing and manipulating. Okay. Now, what is the difference between post processing and manipulating? Uh, almost all of you might have seen uh, Shah Sir's photos. Shah Jam. He is a legendary photographer, uh, very well known uh, across the world. So, if you see his photos, that is digital manipulation and artistic manipulation of photos. So, whatever he shoots, that is never presented in front of you. There is a drastic difference in between the raw photos and the presented photos. Now. He himself accepts that, uh, yes, I graphically uh, beautify the photos and manipulate the photos and there is nothing wrong in it. Many people graphically manipulate the photos to present a different look and feel to the images. In post-processing, what we do or what I teach and what I follow is beautifying your existing raw file, making it presentable to look at, amplifying the colors, enhancing the colors, enhancing the look and feel of the image and cropping it in such a proportion that your objects come at a, um, a good, uh, uh, like, you know, we call them golden points or spiral points or there are a lot of uh, cropping presets that I'll show you, but presenting it in such a way that the viewer's vision gets locked onto the main subject. Okay. <coughs> now, <coughs> um, there is... Um, uh, there is this software called as Adobe Lightroom and there is again a, a, another software called as Adobe Photoshop. Okay. Now, what is the difference between these two? Let's first understand that. Why people use Adobe Lightroom, why people use Camera Raw, why people use Adobe Photoshop and other different uh, softwares. Okay. So, Adobe Lightroom is a non-destructive way of editing. The reason is you just play with the sliders. There are sliders, nothing else. Okay, and it directly doesn't affect the pixels in the image. What happens is when you open a photo in the Lightroom, it creates a digital 
backup of that image work is done on that digital backup and then when you just save the image a tiff file gets created so unless and until you save anything nothing actually happens on the original image however exactly opposite to lightroom photoshop works so photoshop is a pixel editor pixel editor as in whatever you do in photoshop it, it directly affects the uh, the image okay it directly affects the image now the problem here is if you do something wrong and if you don't follow the process flow your image starts to get murkier and it starts to get disoriented so whenever you are working in photoshop you have to be very careful against this in lightroom it's all just trial and error you just move your sliders and just check what is happening okay so that is the main difference in photoshop and lightroom okay now um i hope all of you have already seen uh, what a lightroom panel looks like but i'll introduce it to you i'll just open a lightroom panel now what i'm doing is i'm muting everyone in the in the in the session if you have a doubt feel free to ask me any time by just unmuting yourself okay so i think so just uh, dr anand is uh, on um, unmute so i'm just muting him and whenever i'll ask any questions just feel free to unmute yourself and answer the questions okay so what i'm doing is i'm opening a lightroom catalog okay so our main um, focus is not on catalog creation but on editing part of it okay so uh, at the last section of the workshop i'll tell you how to create catalogs and everything but right now i'm just directly opening the catalog okay so let's go for this um, this catalog everybody can see the screen very clearly there is no issue right oh wait uh, hello no i am not able to see the no, screen wait, wait i haven't i haven't shared the screen just just a moment i'll just share oh, yeah. okay. yes uh, okay okay and uh, varun uh, varun and dr anand you can just uh, stop your cameras so that when in, in the recording you won't be seeing your faces continuously otherwise the screen will get uh, very small in the recording okay even i'll stop my camera for for the moment okay you can all see the screen now yeah perfect perfect yeah. yes you can no, see sir. okay great 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 Oh, uh, Minakshi, you are not able to see the screen. Just, just, just give it a moment because uh, it will, it might take time as per your uh, net connection. Uh, just let me know when you see the screen. Okay. So let's. Uh, select a good image and then i'll then i'll explain the quick parts of uh, lightroom to you okay what what lightroom looks like and what lightroom basically is so i'm just trying to select a good nice image ah Let me check if it is sharp enough. <laughs> ah, okay, perfect. Okay, good picture to start with. We are not going to edit this, just to start with. Now, um, Minakshi, you able to see the screen, right? Now? No, sir. No, not yet. No, no, no. Are you sure? Because I have uh, presented the screen. Everybody is able to see the screen. No. No, sir. I'm just checking. Yeah, no. Wait, wait a second. I'll just check once. I'll just represent it to everyone. Um, so again, presented the screen. Your message is display screen sharing, but 
it it might take uh, 2 minutes maybe just just hold on let's wait let's wait okay sure sure huh? so um guys uh, like you know even if uh, there is a delay you are going to get a recording so don't worry about that yes sir aap continue kar lijiye yeah, yeah okay great so uh, to start with uh, like you know there are four main sections of lightroom four main panels in the lightroom this first is your main control panel where you have these library develop map book slide show print and web options okay now everybody just be aware that i am using the latest the the latest version of adobe products i have registered i am a registered user for adobe products for last 5 years uh, so i am getting the every uh, uh, recent versions you might be using uh, old versions or uh, you might be using new versions i am not very sure of it there might be some changes here and there in your uh, 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 Lightroom uh, windows, so you just need to adjust and see around key where this option is in your side. Okay, okay. So um, to start with, okay, um, this is your main, this is your main panel, okay, and this is from where you control your library and develop options. Okay, this is from where you control your library and develop options. Okay. we are just going to ignore this map book slide show print web even i don't use that okay this second panel on the left hand side is where you see your navigator okay so it helps you to understand your zoom level okay or how much zoom you are going in see so this is your zoom level and everything so this navigator helps you to locate where you exactly are okay and then uh these these versions over here fit 100% 200% this is this is where you resize your image okay uh, this is your direct button to zoom in at 100% you are given this so it i'm not sure if your version of lightroom has this and this is where you can opt for different different zoom levels so this is as simple as possible then there is something called as presets presets is what you get like filters okay i do not use any kind of filters i do not use any kind of presets hence you might be seeing only the basic filters what lightroom gives however i do not use that okay secondly below this there is something called a snapshot so what is snapshot i'll quickly explain it's like a a version of your image processing workflow say for example i have done some processing and i have been called by my wife for lunch so what do i do i i don't want to leave my image as it is so i just create a snapshot over here and it creates a separate file for you you might try it at your side whenever you are editing okay that is what snapshot works for history is a very powerful tool it gives you a list of each and every action you do on the photo say for example over here i am moving this slider see it got it got captured okay then i'm increasing the exposure see that exposure is captured now even if i reduce that a new history is captured see so whatever you do with the image you are able to see that capture okay this helps you what you did and to understand your post processing collections is something for cataloging um i'm not going to cover what is basically cataloging i'll explain it at the end as i said jo bhi kuch bachta hai i'll cover it at the end so that we save on time so collections and all these things help you to sort your photos it's a very 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 powerful tool uh, so we'll talk about it at the end star rating and color rating and everything okay so this is your left hand side panel okay then there is this right hand side panel which is your main heart of the system and this is where all your controls of the system are now whoever is using the lower version of uh, lightroom or the old version of lightroom you will not get to see this okay so this is something presented in a different way in your systems if you are using the uh, lower versions of lightroom okay and uh, this is the part where all the sliders and everything is given okay the histogram is presented over here and i'll explain you the histogram quickly as well 
how to read the histogram and how to see if the image is getting overexposed or underexposed okay this is the right hand side panel and this is your this is called as your film strip okay film strip is something like your uh, your basic uh, what you used to call those negatives okay whatever photos you used to get everything is on the film strip okay in that catalog okay now there is something called as comparison and uh, different types of comparison and soft proofing and xyz different different options are there then how many photos are there in this catalog how many photos have been selected by you everything is given in this uh, film strip okay now generally what we do is uh, we do not need to specifically see this left side panel because um, this is not what you uh, you refer to when you are editing all the time okay so what we do is all these panels collapse so you see these arrows over here on the on the on the four directions of the this thing so here so if i just say for example if i just click this button it collapses so, and you get a good amount of space as well for your image how as and how you start collapsing your image starts growing in size okay and that helps you with your editing process okay so this is your basic lightroom setup okay now let's come in detail to your right hand side panel because there is where there, that is what helps you to start editing your images now uh, has anybody heard the word uh, called as um, compensation does anybody can can anybody uh, quickly explain the word uh, what is what is compensation what is what is compensation what does the i mean you you, you actually give uh, exposure compensation is what you give uh, suppose it is a dark picture it's a light picture you increase or decrease that is exposure compensation yes so uh, in simple words uh, what you said uh, that agar image under exposure you compensate light you give it light and you make it brighter if it is bright over bright you compensate it and you bring the image down okay that is what compensation is okay now lightroom see basically your editing as a whole is a compensation what you cannot achieve through your camera you are adding compensation to your image agar image thoda sa bright hai to you compensate and bring it down agar image thoda sa dull hai you compensate and give contrast your image is uh, dull in colors you compensate those colors and bring the colors up there is nothing different there is nothing uh, there is no rocket science behind editing images but yes it is absolutely technical okay now why is it technical why, uh, i mean why many people like you know just ignore to edit their photos many people don't understand where to start from or what to look in a picture so for me editing now see i'll always refer to this for me because this is how i have self learned editing and that is what i want to give you guys so for me when i open an image to edit i first read the image i first try to understand the image okay now uh, when i say understand the image i try to understand what the object in the image is doing uh, what all Com what all uh, like you know elements are there in the in the image what colors are there in the image um what is each object's behavior now say for example when i am trying to read this image i can see that 80% of the entire image or 70% of the entire image is yellows and greens okay then there are some reds in the image okay um there are basically three main objects in the image one is this lioness who is looking at the back one is a cub which is looking at you and one is a cub, one cub is there which is looking on the right hand side okay now what is the main subject in your image can somebody tell me which which subject or which animal will i be considering as the main subject of the image the cub which is looking at you correct everybody agrees hmm? so here yeah. so here what my subject is that the main cub which is looking at you okay so i have to put 
हंड्रेड परसेंट फोकस ऑफ माय एडिटिंग ऑन दैट कब एंड एटी परसेंट ऑफ माय एडिटिंग ऑन माय एंड ऑन माय रिमेनिंग सब्जेक्ट्स टू जस्ट क्रिएट अ स्टोरी आउट ऑफ माय इमेज ओके नाउ लेट्स लेट्स से सर्च अनादर इमेज इन दिस सीरीज एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्टोरी वी आर एबल टू क्रिएट ओके so say for example this is the image can somebody elaborate the image for me uh, can somebody tell me the story behind this image just just attempt it no uh hi can i go first yeah yeah sure yeah i i guess the uh, i guess the two cups the cup which is behind his mother and the cup which is standing in front of the the other cup mm -hmm. i think they are playing mm -hmm. and i guess the mother is just uh, walking around them mm -hmm. and i guess she, her attention is elsewhere as she is alert uh, because her uh, as uh, we all know they are in the open and they need to be uh, always on the on their toes so she is just watch, watching out mm -hmm. and the cubs are just playing around her and there's a cub which is at uh, on the foreground but it's blurred away because the right. focus was obviously on the uh, mom so okay. i guess this cub is also playing with uh, his or her siblings okay, okay. now now this is in terms of the subjects now can you can you read the entire image as it is like you know uh, can you just understand what colors are there in the image where the shadows are there like you know which parts of the image are dark which parts of the image are bright which needs to be compensated can you tell me something like that minakshi ji do you want to try yes sir Ah, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Anand ji, I'll give you chance for the next image. We are going to do this activity for one or two more images so that you get to use to this process. Hmm. Minakshi ji, go ahead. Sir, yellow or green is, and after that, the lion's neck is there. There is a little bit of white patch. Okay. Yes, and on the cup side, there is a shade on the left side. करेक्ट ओवर ऑन द फेस राइट यस उसके फेस पे ओके 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 गुड 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 वन वन सो नाउ लेट्स लेट्स गो फॉर मोर इमेज ओ ग्रेट आनंद जी गिव मी अ स्टोरी फॉर दिस आई मीन It's a difficult thing. Is there some underexposure and some overexposure on the uh, zebra? Right. Mm -hmm. Then the background. Uh, I mean, at the top there is the sky which is overexposed, mm -hmm. and, and below that there is mountains which is slightly uh, that's also overexposed. Mm -hmm. um, so and the zebra, the grass in front of the zebra is also mm -hmm. overexposed, and the green background behind the zebra is also. Underexposed, so there is underexposure in some parts and overexposure in some parts. Okay, okay. Now, now I'll tell you how to read this image. Okay. Now, now see what how different I will read this image. Now, see, um, can you can you actually count the layers of colors behind the zebra? So, see, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. then we'll consider this entire as 10 big patch 11 12 there are 12 different layers of colors behind this zebra you have such a huge amount to enhance all these colors so beautifully that is one observation okay secondly there is a nice soft highlight on this tree on the top where there are shadows at the bottom that is one second reading that i can do third reading is this grass below the zebra has two tones one is a yellowish green and one is a reddish yellow okay that is my third reading fourth is that i have exposed the zebra to show the shadows very properly on the neck that is why my belly and my back has been a bit overexposed so these are my four important readings this is how you should be able to read the image okay so what all advantages you have in the image where all can you work on the image and what all can you enhance in the image these three things are to be read first of all before doing anything okay 
so now whenever you start editing the images first give yourself 2 minutes 3 minutes to understand what you are going to edit it is not just like you know you get something in front of you jo bhi kuch samne hai usko sirf slider se la ke thoda sa edit karo usko acche se matlab ye karo aur dal do aisa nahi hai you you should be studying the image as how a third person will look at the image kyunki see you are doing photography that is your own hobby but again aap kahi pe dalne wale ho और उसको हजार दस हजार पंद्रह हजार बीस हजार लोग देखने वाले हैं तो यू शुड बी एबल टू लुक एट एन इमेज फ्रॉम अ थर्ड पर्सपेक्टिव एज वेल कि मुझे उनको क्या दिखाना है मुझे उनको लेयर्स दिखाने हैं योर फोकस विल मूव ऑन द लेयर्स मुझे उनको जीब्रा दिखाना है योर फोकस विल मूव ऑन द जीब्रा आपको उनको जो नीचे का ग्रास है वो एनहांस करके दिखाना है आपका फोकस वो ग्रास पे रहेगा सो दिस इज हाउ यू शुड बी एबल टू कैटेगराइज एंड डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन डिफरेंट पार्ट एंड डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट इन द इमेज ओके नाउ आई विल रीड वन मोर इमेज फॉर यू जस्ट अ मोमेंट आई जस्ट चूज अ डिफिकल्ट इमेज टू रीड ओके सो आई रीड दिस इमेज फॉर यू ओके हाउ वॉट टू एक्सैक्टली अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम एन इमेज एंड हाउ टू एडिट इट now when i start with this image when i look at this image my first thing is where is my focus where is my focus what have i focused on this image so my answer is 1 2 and 3 these three chaps at the back this is where my focus is okay and all these fellows running in front are beyond focus or are are before focus or are in the for, foreground now see there are always three parts in the image the object on which your focus is locked the background which is beyond your object behind your object and the foreground which is ahead of your object so all these three parts make a complete image okay and trust me whichever lens you use whatever f value you use there is going to be a background the subject which is in focus and there is going to be foreground this is a unwritten rule of photography okay so you have to first understand where my focus is what i need to focus on second understanding or second reading that i'm doing in this image is there is a beautiful shrub over here which has a nice foliage which has some oranges in between okay or reds in between so i can focus on that okay the third one is that there is a huge difference of highlights and shadows in on these chaps see there is a highlight and there is a nice shadow okay so the way you can model this image is very spectacular okay so um, good evening sanjay sanjeev ji good evening okay so um so say for example this image i have tried to process it in this way now over here my main focus is on these chaps so this is this is the raw image okay and this is the edited image so what i have done is i have tried to focus on these images over here this is in the background this is in the foreground i have enhanced all these colors if you can see i have given a split toning to the shadows and the highlights and like you know all those details minute details on those horns and everything everything is visible okay see this uh, the 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 fur on the face and everything is tack sharp and this is what creates an image so if if you if you see these images side by side i'll just show you so see this is the uh, sorry not this one this one yes so this is the image which is basic or this is raw and this is final image so if you see i have removed all the unnecessary parts in the image i have cropped it for 4 is to 5 okay and i have made it presentable for my instagram upload so this is how you should be able to read the image okay this is your first practice so if you have pen and paper is in front of you note it down first thing is understand the image and read the image properly whatever you do try to understand where the focus is what all objects you want to bring into focus or put your maximum efforts on because if you if you start putting 100% if efforts on the background over here 
नो बडी इज गोइंग टू केयर की वो पीछे का घास कितना अच्छा एडिट किया है किसी को नहीं पड़ी है योर योर मेन एडिटिंग शुड बी हियर राइट सो दिस ऑल यू नीड टू स्टडी ऑन दिस इज योर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेसिंग गेम ओके यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द हिस्टोग्राम हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू टेल मी वेरी वेरी ट्रूली ओके क्रॉसिंग योर हार्ट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आफ्टर क्लिकिंग एन इमेज लुक एट द हिस्टोग्राम आई लुक एट द हिस्टोग्राम समटाइम्स ओके अनंत सर आई लुक ऑल द टाइम यू लुक ऑल द टाइम मीनाक्षी जी यू सर बहुत कम बहुत कम ओके विनायक जी I look at it sometimes, but uh-huh. still, uh, if there are some corrections to be done, uh-huh. I'm still not good in that. Okay, okay. Like sometimes when you know if it's overexposed, I know okay the it has to be uh, aperture or this thing has to be covered. Okay. Lightings. Okay. But what is the perfect one? Uh-huh. That is still not sure. Okay, okay. Rajendra ji, uh-huh. you yeah. will you look at the yeah. history? Yeah, yeah. Me, me. Dekta har photo ko me Instagram dekta hu. Okay, good, good. And Sanjeev ji, you do you look at the histograms? I think uh, I'm not able to get a response from Sanjeev ji. Sushil ji, what about you? Look at histograms or not? No, nah, no, no. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what I'll consider from this is that ninety percent of people. डोंट लुक एट हिस्टोग्राम बिकॉज फील्ड में हिस्टोग्राम देखने के लिए टाइम ही नहीं रहता है द टाइगर इज कमिंग टूवर्ड्स यू कहाँ पे वो फोटो निकालेंगे कहाँ पे हिस्टोग्राम देखेंगे क्या करेंगे कितना कुछ टाइम ही नहीं मिलता है ओके एंड दैट इज वाई देन यू शूट ऑन बर्स्ट एंड देन बाद में टाइगर चला गया फिर एक एक फोटो देख के यू जस्ट मेक अ जजमेंट कि वो कितना फोटो अच्छा है कितना फोटो नहीं है जस्ट बाई द लुक एंड फील ऑफ इट Why do you read histograms and how do you read histograms? I'll tell you a trick. Okay, now a a big myth or um, there is a mythology about histograms that a center peak in the histogram somewhere over here in between is a perfectly balanced histogram. Am I correct? आपको बहुत लोगों ने ये बताया होगा कि अगर histogram का peak अगर ऐसे बीच में आया है, जैसे कि for example ऐसे कुछ then this is a perfectly balanced histogram aisa kuch bataya hoga okay so this is absolutely wrong this is not correct this is not a balanced image now i'll give you a scenario you are put in a very dark room okay and there is a there is a small bright light in front of you almost 500 meters away and you are told to click a photo of that light how will your histogram look Can somebody tell me? There's a light. There's an histogram in it to the right. Uh, right. Okay. But um, will the histogram look something like this? See, What I'm uh, presenting at the moment? It's an overexposed picture. Uh, the histogram will be there. Will be clipping also. Uh, it will be uh, now. Yeah. Now it's underexposed. Now this is. Yeah. If I shift to the left, it will be a uh, darkish. Uh, 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 and to the right, it will be orange. Okay. Now, 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 let's see if this if this stands true. Okay. Let's let's quickly simulate this. See, uh, all your editing and all your post processing depends on your histogram. Trust me, if you don't know the histogram, you are not reading the image correctly. Okay. So I'll just uh, create a quick simulation and explain you what exactly I'm trying to say. Okay. So say for example, this is a photo. okay and i am uh putting complete darkness into it okay this is your dark room and on top i am putting a bright white light okay so if i go over here just imagine that this is your bright white light this is your light Okay, now you told me that the histogram will be towards your right. Is my histogram over here on my right? Is there anything on my right? Is there anything on my right? There is nothing on my right. 
<laughs> the histogram is completely towards my left, which is in the blacks. Okay. Now, firstly, this explains what needs to be done. Okay. So, see this. Um, Okay, so say for example, this is your histogram. Hmm. Kuch dikta hai na, histogram. Hmm. This is your center point. Okay, and there is something over here and something over here. Okay, this is your histogram. Now, over here, this this part this section this line represents complete blacks okay completely opposite to it this line represents whites pure whites okay this center is your 50% gray okay now what remains in between blacks and white, uh, blacks and grays it is your shadows and what remains over here is your highlights sabko samajh mein aaya okay now if we study this histogram over here what is this histogram showing it is showing a trend something like this am i correct you see this okay now what does this mean this means that there are complete blacks in this image and this part that you see in the histogram is representing your white circle in between see this okay now if i remove that circle see what happens okay if i remove this keep your concentration on this histogram over here okay see Chala gaya. if i add it see again the histogram records that white light now what if i add a different kind of light so if i go for this and if I add a harsh, my, my, uh, harsh brush instead of a feathered brush, see how the histogram looks. Oh, sorry. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll just merge all the layers. Can you see a new line which is added over here? Now this line represents hundred percent whites. So you see as and how i start adding different different whites okay see the the line remains constant that is because it is registering that there is white light against black light can you see this if i just remove this you see that white light go, goes away that line on the right hand side goes away this is your white see this is your white 100 percent white okay now what i do is i add a 50 percent gray circle in between now see what happens okay so what is 50 percent gray 128 128 and 128 okay 50 percent gray hmm. now see what will happen okay i add this now see what new addition comes up see there is one more line which has got added in between so you saw how the how these tones are getting represented on this histogram okay very very significant to understand why these why these tones are getting registered is because this line is registering pure black this line on the right hand side is registering your pure whites and this line in center is registering your 50 percent grays similarly jo maine yahan pe dikhaya hai okay now the problem where we get start getting stuck is 
हमें बताया गया है कि अगर ऐसा कुछ अगर ये रहेगा अगर ऐसा कुछ हिस्टोग्राम रहेगा जैसा से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऐसा देन योर इमेज इज फर्स्ट क्लास योर इमेज इज परफेक्ट अमेजिंग दिस इज ट्रू हाउ एवर इन वेरी कंट्रोल्ड सिचुएशन नाउ वॉट इज कंट्रोल्ड सिचुएशन एंड वॉट इज नॉट अनकंट्रोल्ड सिचुएशन सो वॉट यू सी इन फैशन फोटोग्राफी अंडर लाइट अंडर दो स्ट्रोब इज अ कंट्रोल्ड लाइट ओके दैट इज वेर यू कैन अचीव दीज काइंड ऑफ सेंट्रली बैलेंस्ड इमेजेस और टू परसेंट और थ्री परसेंट ऑन फील्ड इफ यू आर एबल टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ अ परफेक्ट सेंटर्ड इमेज और सेंटर्ड हिस्टोग्राम योर इमेज इज गुड However, maximum times, mostly birders will understand this that the birds sit in shade most of the times. Okay, and you are shooting directly in the shade. When you are pointing your camera, your camera is registering a lot of shade or shadows. Now tell me, how will your histogram register this fifty percent grey tone? It will never. So your histogram in that scenario has to look something like this. समवेयर अगर बीच में कहीं लाइट आ गया तो ऐसा कुछ बीच में अदरवाइज योर हिस्टोग्राम हैज टू गोन योर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सिमिलरली इफ यू आर शूटिंग अ सिलुएट ऑफ अ बर्ड फ्लाइंग अगेंस्ट द सन योर हिस्टोग्राम विल ऑलवेज लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली इफ यू आर शूटिंग इन द इन द ब्राइटेस्ट ऑफ लाइट इन द आफ्टरनून your histogram will look something like this am i correct because your systems are going to recollect maximum light on the sensor and that is why your histograms move like this okay so reading your histograms is very 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 important from those histograms you will be able to understand what your image is now say for example if my histogram on my image is looking something like this i have to understand immediately that there are blacks in my image there are 100% blacks in my image if my histogram has something like this i have to understand that there are 100% whites in my image okay if my histogram is something like this i have to understand that my image has maximum shadows and there are some highlights over here or some highlights somewhere in the image okay so once you start reading your histograms where your shadows are what your image has maximum you will be able to compensate that and lightroom is the best tool to start understanding your histograms the reason i'll tell you okay in in next 5 to 10 minutes i'll immediately come to that okay but however your histograms are Im immensely important now you have to note down this in front of you there are three things that you have to do the first one of them is after opening lightroom and after selecting your image first thing that you have to do is press the button j j for jungle j now see what is happening train your eyes on this histogram see the moment i press j white boxes appear over here or those boxes on the corners get a white background white uh, outline okay what it tells you i'll i'll now explain it to you okay i just reset this once again now see this is the image if my image is under exposed okay now what is under exposed this is your under exposed okay or i'm i'm doing it a bit more enhanced i mean i'm just uh, over doing the under exposed just to explain it to you now see if my image is under exposed and there are black tones or there are shadows or there are blacks complete blacks this button lights up do you see blue over here and the moment i start going down again it turns white the moment it turns white this triangle you have to understand that there are complete blacks in the image okay this is your indicator okay the moment i over expose my image see this okay 
I don't know if I will be able to achieve pure whites. See this. See. Now, the moment my image is overexposed, you will see this triangle glowing. And these are your hints to understand if your image is burnt on the black side or it is burnt on the white side. This is known as clipping. This word is very important. You, the image gets black clipped or white clipped. Clip means you lose all the details in the highlights or your whites or you lose all the details in your blacks or your shadows. That is known as clipping. Okay. And in Lightroom, to understand clipping, see, if your image has pure whites, wherever there is pure white, this kind of a red dye will start appearing on your images. Only when you have these boxes highlighted by pressing J. If I remove J, nothing is there. Nothing is there. Okay. It will just show this this box. That's all. However, if I press J, this appears in front of you. And this is an indicator to show that your images are white clipped. Okay. Now let's see what happens if we have black clipped images. Okay. Just let me search for an image. Something different. Okay. Let's let's consider this image. If my image is black clipped. Now see what happens. Do you see a blue dye in front of you? This shows that wherever this blue dye is appearing, wherever this blue dye is appearing, all my details in the blacks are lost. I cannot recover those black details. Okay. And this kind of details appear very easily in front of you. If you have exposed the image, if you have overexposed the image or if you have underexposed the image. Okay. Now I have that habit of clicking um, out of camera perfect images. So hence I won't be able to show you an image which is out of camera overexposed. I'll just try, but um, I don't want to waste a lot of time in doing that. Okay. Let's see this. Ha, huh, see this. Okay. Perfect. Ah, yes. See this, this is overexposed. Okay. Can you see without doing anything, my histogram is showing white clipping on the right hand side. See this, it is showing white clipping and this red color dye has appeared. Have I moved any of my sliders? I haven't. Out of Lightroom, it is showing me if my whites are pure whites or not. Okay. Similarly, on an underexposed image, let's see. Ah, see this. On the underexposed image, the places where there is black clipping, it will show me out of image. I do not have to move any slider. I move that slider just to demonstrate to you. Okay. That is one thing. So, you know yes, 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 yes. In the, la in, the, uh, in the last one, the blacks, can you not press Alt and go right and left? Pardon? In, uh, uh, in that uh, sliders, uh -huh. whites, and, whites and black, can uh -huh. you not press uh, Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. I'm, I'm just explaining you what you can see in the histogram and what you can identify and uh, study the image like. Okay. So, we are going to come to these sliders slowly. Hmm? Okay. So, this is how you can immediately understand if your images have out of camera blacks, pure blacks and pure whites. And pure blacks and pure whites are not good signs of photography. Unless and until it demands that pure blacks. As I told you, if pure black room, then it pure black. There is no benefit of gray. Okay? That is how your images should be out of camera. That is one point. So first step, whenever you open the image, you have to press J and make sure that your boxes are highlighted in the histogram. Okay? That is one thing. Second thing that you have to do. Okay? Second thing. If you are shooting in RAW, which I assume most of you are, and if you are not, trust me, mark my words, this is a recording. I'm, I'm talking on a recorded video. Start shooting RAW because RAW has immense, immense power in it. Okay? 
I'm not going to cover what are the advantages of raw. I'm just going to say the statement. If you're not shooting in raw, start shooting in raw. Okay. So second step that you have to do is you have to go to this profile. Okay. You'll see this profile in your uh, Lightroom. Just switch this profile to Adobe standard. I'll explain you quickly what happens when you're shooting raw by default, those who know raw has the profile set to standard or neutral. Okay. Raw, why you shoot in raw is to get maximum details in the image. It is a file. It is never an image. A raw file it will always be CR2, NEF, ARW, um, uh, whatever according to your uh, um, company of the camera that you are using. Sony uses ARW, Nikon uses NEF, Canon uses CR2. Okay. So these are files. There is a code written in these files. And this code tells the computer what the image should look like. And this is what you need. And in those raw files, the profile is set to standard. Now, what Lightroom does, okay, what Lightroom does, whenever you bring the image in Lightroom, it turns this profile to Adobe Color. And it gives a more vibrant version of your existing raw file, which you don't want. You never want a, um, a vibrant image um, to start to edit with. You always want a very neutral, very perfect file that you shot in. So second step that you have to do is always shift this Adobe color to Adobe standard. Okay. You will see a huge shift in the colors. See. The image goes flat. Okay. This is the second thing. Hmm? The third thing, very important, what you have to do is scroll down and locate this lens correction panel. Okay. This lens correction. And you just have to go and check both these check boxes. And what this does is remove chromatic aberration. What what is chromatic aberration? Most of you uh use kit lenses or like you know third party lenses or uh 7300 i'll tell you what and um minakshi ji i'll answer your question in this point itself okay so what happens yes. what happens is when you see all these photographers sudhir shivram and um shaz jung and um uh, uh like you know i'm not getting these names immediately but all these big photographers their images are superb the reason is they use professional quality of glass okay now what is professional quality of glass i'll explain your 400 mm 600 mm 800 mm your 50 mm primes this all are professional quality of glass the lenses that you use okay 70 300 200 500 um uh, so 150 600 um then uh, i believe uh, you also use uh, 75 300 um uh, all these lenses are consumer lenses what is consumer lens i'll, I'll maybe uh, um uh, dr anand will be able to uh, understand this very clearly uh, generic lenses generic medicine jaise hota hai na um aaram se available hone wala lens these are yes sir some uh -huh. Huh, these are generic lenses. When you start using professional glass, you are able to go very close to the image uh, to the object as per your focal distance. Okay. Agar aap 400 mm use kar rahe ho, agar aap, um, 600 mm use kar rahe ho, agar aap, uh, 500 mm use kar rahe ho, you are able to go close to the object uh, in terms of photography and you are able to blur the background because of the lower stop of the image uh, of the lens now if you if you read this exif i have used iso 100 i have used a 400 mm prime i have used f value 2.8 okay and all these images are shot with 2.8 okay now I'll, I'll see this or or see this um, uh, yes so can you can you see the background it has been destroyed it, it is all creamy and this is where your photography changes completely. Okay. 
now what you are using is 200 500 it's a beautiful lens i do not i uh, disagree with that but again with 200 500 yes i have seen photographers who have uh, produced mind blowing images with 200 500 i am talking about lenses like 70 300 18 55 and all these consumer lenses you will never be able to achieve those kind of results with these kind of lenses that is why i mentioned right in the start the, there is a solution but it is costly okay that is why when you shoot minakshi ji you are able yes, to get the bird you are able to see the bird in the photograph but it is small when you start mm -hmm. doing it when you start cropping it okay you yeah. are you are losing on all the details now see what happens um i don't know if i'm able to show you this see this your your, yes. your image start to look something like this yes with very low details with a lot of noise mm. okay mm. but but this is when i'm like you know i'm zooming in around 200 300 400 percent if i'm not even zooming in so see this do you see the image destroyed at the moment no but you still see the yeah. details in the birds. So yes. I'll tell you one thing very clearly. <laughs> your, photography, yes, your photography is a very uh, costly uh, hobby. One thing mm -hmm. that is one thing for sure. Um, uh, second, your technique is very important. However, nowadays with digital photography, your in spite of good technique, you need to have good quality lenses. Otherwise. Uh, you will never reach that uh, that place where uh, you see others are doing it because if you see the lenses that they are using is top notch. My story now coming to my story, I'll just tell you one thing. Earlier, I was uh, using my French 200 500 mm, and I was using Nikon D850. Amazing combination. 850 Nikon D850 is like pro level camera. 200 500 is also not bad it's a beautiful lens but still i was not able to get what i was wanting okay in between i spent around 15 lakhs i purchased uh, sony a9 mark ii and i went for a two uh, i went for a 400 mm f 2.8 the lens itself costs around 9 lakh 40 thousand rupees but the results that i'm getting out of that lens is something way different so the reason I'm telling this is your equipment poses a challenges challenge in front of you. And the main big problem in that challenge are these two points. Coming back to these two points. What is this remove chromatic aberration? With consumer lenses, um, the, the quality of glass is not good. Okay. And what happens in, in that is when the light passes through these lenses now see uh, coming back quickly to this point okay um uh, say i'll show you quickly okay so shift g let's see okay so what is what is your uh, lens okay your lens is nothing but uh, two prisms inverted and put on top of each other Okay. Okay. Here. Kidder again. Ha. Okay. Lens. Kesa reta hai. You see a lens like this. You see a lens like this. But effectively, what is it? It is two prisms on top of each other. Simple. Okay. And what prisms do? They get light in them. They get light in them and they diffract in different lights okay and problem kya hota hai yaha pe jo violet hota hai and jo green hota hai sorry jo green hota hai these are the strongest and the most destructive colors and if you have seen in your images as a border pe violet color ka line aata hai ya green color ka line aata hai i'll tell you where to look अगर आपके पास व्हाइट स्काइज के अगेंस्ट माउंटेन्स रहेंगे यू विल सी दैट वायलेट कलर का लाइट और ग्रीन कलर का लाइट देयर इज अ स्ट्रिप ऑफ लाइट और देयर इज अ स्ट्रिप ऑफ कलर ऑन टॉप ऑफ योर बॉर्डर्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज योर 
chromatic aberration so what lightroom does is once you click this lightroom automatically tries to reduce those chromatic aberrations okay usme unka ek khud ka ek algorithm rehta hai and it will try to remove it okay secondly what is this profile correction every lens every every uh, lens in the market even though it be professional lens 400 800 600 500 jo bhi hai or your consumer lenses they have they tend to create a vignette around the image now observe the before and after okay so see this i have applied this i have removed it applied it and removed it can you see there is a huge difference in the borders of the image okay so that lights so that vignette gets removed the moment i click on this enable profile correction what it does is lightroom as it keeps on getting updated by adobe it keeps on adding these new lenses in the database so see you can see itne sare lenses hain nikon ke okay and agar aap raw mein shoot kar rahe ho then this data is written in that file aapko kuch nahi karna hai aapko sirf ye click karna hai wo aapka file read karega usme se wo lens ka model nikalega wo profile nikalega aur uspe apply karke wo vignette nikal dega however if you shoot in jpeg and if you open it in in lightroom ye features aapko available nahi honge so that is the reason why i always tell to all my students click um, in raw click in raw okay these are two very important things now isme ek manual mein dikha deta hu see this is called as distortion there are different types of distortion there is something called as pin cushion distortion and barrel distortion okay now what is pin cushion distortion apne pin cushion dekha hai wo aisa chhota sa uh, pillow type rehta hai jisme pins lagaye rehte hain it's always bulging in the center so you see this is this is bulging in the center okay i'll show you this is before and see it bulges in the center and this is what sometimes lens give you as an effect okay low low resolu- low quality lenses create this kind of a distortion so you can remove this distortion as well or ye aapko distortion kaha pe dikhega where there are horizons what is a horizon difference between sky and land sky and water वॉटर एंड लैंड वो हमेशा स्ट्रेट रहता है अगर आपको लगा कि वो थोड़ा सा ऐसा कर्व दिख रहा है देन दैट इज योर डिस्टोर्शन यू कैन मैन्युअली चेंज इट दिस इज योर पिन क्वेश्चन डिस्टोर्शन दिस इज योर बैरल डिस्टोर्शन देखो बीच से अंदर गया ऐसे ओके कर्व हो गया वो सो यू कैन ऑलवेज करेक्ट दैट इन द मैन्युअल मोड और ये रहा डिफ्रेंच तो जो मैंने जो बोला था ना क्रोमेटिक एबरेशन और फ्रेंजिंग जो रहता है this is your fringing you can manually change it from here okay yahan pe ek vignetting bhi rehta hai this is all your, under your lens correction agar aapko laga ki nahi mera lens ka ye bahut zyada ho raha hai matlab see this so if i see that my vignetting is too much i can manually remove it as well okay so ye aapka ho gaya lens correction so this is your third point let's revise once again first is pressing j j for jungle Jung, j in allows you to see where the image are clipped and where they are not okay second is your profile adobe color aapko ye kis pe karna hai adobe standard pe hmm? and the third option is your lens correction mein aake Roma, uh, remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction okay so these are the first three things that you will do after opening the image okay now once you do all these three things jaise maine pehle bataya ki editing or post processing is nothing but compensation agar aapko image bright lag raha hai usko थोड़ा ब्राइटनेस कम करो इफ यू आर एबल टू सी दैट द हाइलाइट्स आर टू प्रोमिनेंट आपको उसके हाईलाइट्स कम करने हैं ओके नाउ द फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट्स फ्रॉम द ए पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेसिंग और द प्रोसेस फ्लो नाउ लेट्स गो टुवर्ड्स द बी पार्ट ओके नाउ देर इज दिस ऑटो बटन डू यू सी दिस 
ये ऑटो बटन यहाँ पे ये कभी नहीं प्रेस करना है नेवर प्रेस दिस ऑटो बटन अनलेस एंड अंटिल यू आर वेरी कंफ्यूज ओके कि मुझे ये इमेज एक बेसिक इसका जो हाईलाइट शेडोज ये सब जो है मुझे समझ ही नहीं रहा है कि इसमें क्या करें तो यू जस्ट प्रेस दिस ऑटो एंड सी कि वो कंप्यूटर क्या कर रहा है आपके लिए ओके जस्ट सी कि ये कंप्यूटर क्या करके दे रहा है यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड फॉल्ट इन दैट बट स्टिल इट गिव्स यू अ बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ वॉट टू डू ओके नाउ द मोमेंट यू सी दिस यू जस्ट रिमूव दिस ऑटो ओके यू जस्ट रिमूव दिस ऑटो एंड कम बैक टू योर बेसिक सेटिंग ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टू दिस व्हाइट बैलेंस नाउ वॉट इज व्हाइट बैलेंस कैन समबडी एक्सप्लेन व्हाइट बैलेंस टू मी क्विकली एनीबडी वॉट इज व्हाइट बैलेंस बेसिकली यू हैव व्हाइट बैलेंस केल्विन रेंज From okay. uh, from four thousand, three thousand to ten thousand, uh, from okay. blue tungsten to uh, orange color. Uh, okay. So uh, color, it gives a color, uh, color to the picture. Okay. Okay. Good. So I have the second question coming up immediately after my first question. What are the two major colors that you see in the sky? Anybody wants to give a try? two main colors that you see in during the entire day blue and orange okay blue and orange or red and orange okay okay so i'll just correct you over here your first color is correct blue is correct the second color is always yellow okay there is nothing called as orange to be very frank two colors come together to form a comp Uh, to form a composite color called as orange red and greens come together to form uh, sorry red and yellows come together to form orange so there is nev never a pure orange color in the sky the color is blue and yellow okay now as you see um i don't know many if you all have gone for safaris okay uh, since we are talking about mainly wildlife and nature uh if you sit in the safari in the morning it is around 5 o'clock in the early morning and it is all black okay the day starts from there the the moment your day starts progressing okay the first thing that you see is a very blue kind of light which starts appearing it is called as your twilight color okay that first blue color is your coolest color in your entire day okay the second color that starts appearing after that is a mixture of blue and yellows and that is how your day starts okay okay and after that around 7:30 8 o'clock you you arrive at a point in the day which you called as a golden hour okay and that is where your oranges are at the maximum point ओके okay, हम लोग देखते हैं ना इमेजेस गोल्डन आर इमेजेस एंड यू से अरे क्या इमेज निकला है क्या लाइट लाइट मिला है दैट इज अ गोल्डन लाइट आफ्टर गोल्डन लाइट द डे अगेन प्रोसीड्स अहेड एंड द टोन कम्स बैक टू ब्लू एंड एंड अ मिक्सचर ऑफ येलो इन इट ओके एंड देन योर मूड गोज डाउन बिकॉज योर लाइट गोज फॉर अ टॉस जैसे जैसे दिन आगे जाता है यू आर राइव एट अ पॉइंट समथिंग कॉल्ड एज आफ्टरनून वेयर सफारी एंड and your lights are absolutely harsh and it goes beyond control okay the second time you sit in the safari for the evening is around 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock again at that time the light is really bad very harsh okay however as your day progresses your light again starts to go towards your sunset and that is again when you observe a golden hour in the evening okay so you get two twilights two golden hours and two harsh lights or one harsh light i will say okay now coming back to this white balance the entire white balance game is on that light in your environment okay now uh, one thing that i believe um, very rarely people tell when uh, teaching editing is that 
we see over here in the slider okay now see this slider hmm? and you have to remember this very very clearly and keep the word compensation in your brain always running now see the moment i start moving this slider over here can somebody read the uh, read the kelvin over here somebody quickly it's 2000 2000 okay now the moment i move this slider to the extreme right what is the kelvin it's 50000 50000 okay this means that on the yellow side the kelvin is 50000 and on the blue side it's 2000 correct okay now it is exactly the opposite it is exactly the opposite you have to remember the word compensation okay actually what happens is that this is 50000 the actual temperature of your blue light is the highest number and the temperature of your of your yellow light is the lowest number and that is why this compensation happens over here so say for example this is my current so say for example i shot this image at 6050 kelvins okay if i want to reduce my temperature okay i am adding my or i am adding blues to it okay hence i am increasing my temperature okay and over here i am actually reducing my kelvins okay i'll tell you the reason why how even i came to know this or how i experienced this in weddings you see this huge halogen lamps that we photographers put they are called as portal lights tungsten lamps okay now these tungsten lamps are absolutely warm they are yellow pure yellow colors okay um and um, um, um these lights have a temperature a kelvin temperature of 3700 aise kaise hoga 3700 is supposed to be cool right but what happens over there is those lights have a temperature of just 3700 and here we see the exact opposite numbers coming that is where your compensation word comes into picture jitna light yellow usko compensate karne ke liye hum log usme blue add karte hain jitna light blue usko compensate karne ke liye hum usme yellow light dalte hain and that is why the exactly opposite numbers that you see isliye hum log golden hour dikhane ke liye sham ko we increase our temperature and we take it to 10000 kelvin and all okay but we are reducing the yellows uh, sorry we are reducing the blues and that is why you are actually giving a compensation for blue for 10000 value samajh mein aaya anybody has a doubt on this yes Because, sir ha boliye boliye yeah yes sir samajh mein aaya samajh mein aaya na koi koi tension koi koi confusion nahi hai na kisi ko bhi you have to remember the word compensation uh yeah actually i have a doubt yes yeah actually it's not uh, entirely related to the temperature panel but i uh, sometimes when uh, i reduce uh, the temperature in an image uh -huh. and then when i, I adjust the tone curve for uh -huh. the blue color uh -huh. does it actually affect the temperature up, uh, up in the temperature panel uh not necessarily see basically your temperature and your tone curves are not related to each other directly somewhat yeah. yes somewhat yes okay see basically what happens your your actually affecting the tones of your blues okay and your temperature has already been reduced so you are just inducing a color in that temperature that's all however okay. however if you see this if you see this this is nothing but a color you are you are just applying a global adjustment on top of the image mm -hmm. okay okay so okay so the temperature panel entirely uh, affects the image and whereas the tone curve only uh, affects your highlights or the shadows yeah, yes affects the areas we select correct exactly so if you are um, uh, pulling up your blues in your highlights it will just affect your blues in the highlights it is not going to affect the image globally okay okay thank you okay so does anybody have another doubt or shall we proceed ahead 
I'll just repeat once again. Keep the numbers and the word compensation in your brain. You will work wonders with your temperature. अगर आपका अगर आपको कोई बोलता है अरे तीन हजार सात सौ पे लेके जा टेम्परेचर दैट मीन्स दैट यू हैव टू रिड्यूस द टेम्परेचर ओके वो ब्लू उसको कॉम्पेंसेट करना है इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि आपका ऑलरेडी और येलोज ज्यादा है आपको वो कम करना है आपको अगर कोई बोला अरे दस हजार पे लेके जा तो आपको क्या करना है ब्लूज कॉम्पेंसेट करना है येलोज बढ़ाना है सिंपल ओके सो दैट इज योर टेम्परेचर नो टिंट दिस इज अ वेरी लाइक यू नो ट्रिकी टेम्परेचर दिस थिंग आई से वॉट वी से इट्स अ स्लाइडर द रीजन इज डिफरेंट कैमेराज रिएक्ट टू टिंट वेरी डिफरेंटली ओके now um i'll i'll give my example over here when i'm using nikons this tint is hardly minus 1 or plus 1 out of camera in raw okay however when i'm using uh, sony this tint is al always on the 13 13 14 aise kuch wo tint rehta hai so what does tint do is it just it just compensates between the greens and the magentas of your image now see these four colors okay blue yellow green and magenta are the main primary temperature and tint values of your image agar aapko lagta hai ki aapka image bahut hi green aaya hai you just compensate it by adding your magenta if you feel that your image has a lot of magentas in it agar koi aisa dikhai de raha hai to you just compensate it by adding green to it okay similar with your ब्लूज एंड येलो अगर बहुत येलो लग रहा है यू जस्ट कॉम्पेंसेटेड बाय एडिंग ब्लूज तो ये रहा टेम्परेचर ओके इसमें नाउ इन लाइट रूम नाउ आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू द टर्म टेम्परेचर नाउ कमिंग इन लाइट रूम यहां पे एक कस्टम नाम का एक बटन है ओके नाउ दिस इज एज पर योर चॉइस दैट मीन्स कस्टम हाउ एवर देर आर समीसेट एंड यू विल सी दीज प्रीसेट इन योर कैमराज एज वेल ऑटो डे लाइट क्लाउडी शेड टंगस्टन फ्लोरसेंट फ्लैश आपको मजा दिखा दो अभी आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू वाई आई एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दिस कॉम्पेंसेशन थिंग ये सब सब क्यों समझाया शेड ओके लेट्स कंसिडर शेड सो शेड इज वॉट कूल शेड शेड टोन हैज टू बी कूल इट्स इट्स सपोज टू बी गोइंग ऑन द ब्लू साइड ओके Now to compensate shade, इसका मतलब क्या कि मेरे को समझ रहा है कि यहाँ पे सामने मेरा टाइगर बैठा है वो शेड में बैठा है वो ब्लू होने वाला है इमेज तो मुझे उसको क्या करना है कॉम्पेंसेट करना है तो सी वेन आई वेन आई क्लिक ऑन शेड सी द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस एक्चुअली क्या होना चाहिए ब्लू रहना चाहिए ना शेड का मतलब क्या कि लोअर लोअर टेम्परेचर वॉट इट डज इज इट कॉम्पेंसेट बाय एडिंग टेम्परेचर सिमिलरली इन फ्लोरोसेंट सी इसका मतलब क्या फ्लोरोसेंट मतलब क्या कि मेरा येलो बहुत ज्यादा है मुझे उसको कॉम्पेंसेट करना है और मुझे उसमें ये ब्लूज एड करना है सो वॉट इज द एक्चुअल टेम्परेचर ऑफ फ्लोरोसेंट थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड पर उसने क्या किया उसमें ब्लूज कॉम्पेंसेट किए और वो नॉर्मलाइज किया सिमिलरली ओवर हियर टंगस्टन सी अगेन इट गोज मच बियॉन्ड दैट now you will understand why i said understand the word compensation and understand temperature ye iska iska jo value hai this is 50000 to be very frank and this is just 2000 2000 ka yellow value compensate karne ke liye usko 50000 ka blue add karna padta hai and 50 uh, uh, ye uh, to, uh, the the other way around vice versa okay so now i think everybody of you understood this white balance game properly when we start editing an image i'll explain it to you in detail ki kaise use karna hai i'm just right now explaining you the terminologies and the sliders properly exposure now let's come to this tone part okay abhi tak humne white balance dekha okay profile dekha white balance dekha now coming to the tone very very important very important okay what is your exposure exposure is nothing but your uh, stops one stop two stop three stop under and over okay so now what is this this is one stop over 
okay this is two stop over this is three stop over similarly on the right hand side on the left hand side one stop under see this is one stop under two stop under and three stop under simple very simple exposure is nothing but the effective light in your entire image now understand one thing very 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 clearly over here lightroom sliders affect your image globally lightroom sliders affect your image globally jo bhi ab slider move karoge pure image pe uska effect padega there is nothing called as masking in photo in lightroom there is nothing called as masking in lightroom ki apne kuch apply kiya i i am not sure how many of you know the term masking somebody ask me um on a phone call ki aap masking sikhane wale ho kya lightroom mein there is nothing called as masking masking is there in photoshop taki aap pura image pe wo uh, effect apply karo and baju ka sab nikal ke sirf usi area pe rakho that is called as masking but that is in photoshop there is nothing called as masking in lightroom okay so exposure contrast highlight shadows whites blacks texture clarity dhs jitne bhi aapko sliders dikhai de rahe they all affect your image globally pure image pe uska asar padta hai okay now exposure is very self explanatory aapka brightness comes under exposure now when i i do my editing what i do in terms of exposure say for example now say let's say i am going to edit um, yes let's let's say that this image okay i'm 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 editing this image okay what i will do on my side or what my process says is i under expose the image slightly i under expose the image slightly so that all my all my highlights all my spectacular highlights get reduced a bit okay so there is no harsh point in the image anywhere i always under expose my image very slightly and then i work on my highlights and my shadows i'll explain highlights and shadows in next 5 minutes once we come to that but i under expose my image very slightly and I, i'll demonstrate that when i'm actually editing an image in front of you so that is exposure for you now we come to a very very big topic in editing contrast can somebody tell me uh, what do you understand by contrast can somebody tell that what is contrast for them anybody can give a try The contrast gives the punch to the uh, picture. Uh, I mean, uh, it, okay. So that's the big advantage of contrast. Hmm. Punch कैसे आता है? What is the what is the magic behind that punch? Uh, can I go? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I guess I guess the uh, two opposite colors or two opposite things like uh, highlights and shadows they they are either reduced or increased based on the uh, based on the slider okay okay so i guess if we uh, move the slider to the uh, right hand right hand side the shadows will be increased and the highlights will be reduced uh, pardon go again go again if if i move the contrast slider to the uh -huh. right hand side Mm -hmm. so i i guess the uh, shadows will be uh, increased and highlights will be reduced and vice versa okay okay, <laughs> okay. so uh, you are confused wait i'll 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 explain you what happens okay so yes what uh, anand sir said is absolutely correct it gives a punch to the image okay however how this punch is given is something very magical to understand okay it's no rocket science it's very simple कॉन्ट्रास्ट कब आता है वेन डू यू सी कॉन्ट्रास्ट हम कब बोलते हैं कि अरे बहुत कॉन्ट्रास्ट है दैट इज वेन योर हाईलाइट आर ऑल्सो हाई एंड योर शेडोज आर ऑल्सो हाई एंड दैट इज वेन यू सी अ वेरी ग्रंजी काइंड ऑफ एन इफेक्ट ओके हाउ एवर इफ दैट 
contrast is given in correct measures it gives a very beautiful punch to the highlights and the shadows at the same time okay now i'll i'll tell you what happens when you increase your contrast okay um highlight pixels or shadow pixels are added next to the existing highlights and shadows or whites and darks so whites ke baju mein whites ja ke girte blacks ke baju mein blacks ja ke girte highlights ke baju mein highlights ja ke girte aur shadows ke baju mein shadows ja ke girte isme beech ka matlab jo uh, 50% gray hai us pe koi bhi effect nahi padta hai that is simply what happens when your contrast is increased so what varun said i'll correct that when you increase your contrast on the right hand side what happens is safed aur safed ho jata hai kala aur kala ho jata hai so your highlights also go for a bump and your shadows also go for a bump i'll demonstrate this see this so see the parts near the near what are highlights i'll just zoom in the image a bit so that you will be able to see what is exactly happening so see i'm slowly increasing the contrast now you see that the that this rim over here on the right hand side or on the left hand side it is growing darker while at the same time even this shadow portion is getting enhanced it is going going more darker why it is going more darker because your da blue dye is telling you see if i increase the contrast that white will go on increasing and your darks will go on increasing at the same time this is what happens when you are increasing your contrast see this part over here on the body it has gone so bright and this part over here has gone so dark so iska matlab kya hua ki aapke darks mein dark add ho gaya whites mein white add ho gaya simple okay it doesn't go the other way around now what is anti contrast what is anti contrast anti contrast is nothing but your shadows drop okay and your highlights also drop i'll explain it to you when i'm working on the highlight shadows whites and the black sliders in next 2 minutes but i hope i am very very clear contrast may highlights increase shadows increase simple simple mathematics highlights 2 shadows 2 highlights 10 shadows 10 Whites ten, blacks ten. So, uh, it goes on increasing uh, linearly. Okay. Now, when we are talking about contrast, I am going to jump directly on two sliders at the bottom or three sliders at the bottom. Okay, uh, because they are very very uh, related to each other. Okay. When we talk about contrast, what I said is I am adding whites to the whites, blacks to the blacks, highlights to the highlights, uh, shadows to the shadows. same thing is seen in texture and clarity how does clarity increase or what does enhance textures agar aapka white hai to usko aur thoda white karo black ko aur thoda black karo aapka texture aur ubhar ke aayega so what is texture and clarity in a very uh, different language it's nothing but contrast usko se contrast ko sirf thoda sa alag naam diya hai usko sirf ग्लोरीफाई किया है और उसको टेक्सचर और क्लियरिटी का नाम दे दिया हाउ एवर द वे दो कॉन्ट्रास्ट वर्क ऑन डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट इन द इमेज इज अट डिफरेंट अदरवाइज इट इज नथिंग बट कॉन्ट्रास्ट ओके सो योर कॉन्ट्रास्ट टेक्सचर एंड क्लियरिटी इज अ सेम थिंग वंस अगेन योर कॉन्ट्रास्ट टेक्सचर एंड क्लियरिटी इज द सेम थिंग coming to the slider below it dehaz same thing agar main dehaz ko badhata hu see what is happening my whites are going whites blacks are going blacks what is this contrast agar main dehaz ko kam karta hu see this my whites are remaining same or probably my shadows are going up i'm reducing i'm compensating my shadows and my whites are increasing so iska matlab kya hua ki maine highlights ko thoda sa badhaya aur maine shadows ko bhi thoda sa badhaya that is nothing but your dehaze so this position is nothing but your dehaze okay 
सो डीहेज सॉरी डीहेज टेक्सचर एंड क्लैरिटी एंड कॉन्ट्रास्ट आर ऑल ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स एक ही एक ही फैमिली के है ओके नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉन्ट्रास्ट आई वॉन्ट टू कम टू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू ओके नाउ सी दिस ऑल दीज फोर स्लाइडर यू सी ओवर हियर दे आर ऑल टोन कर्व ओके हाईलाइट शेडोज वाइट्स एंड ब्लैक्स दे आर ऑल टोन ओके नाउ When you add contrast, what exactly happens? मैंने क्या बोला था हाईलाइट में हाईलाइट बढ़ जाते हैं शेडोज में शेडोज बढ़ जाता है आ गया कॉन्ट्रास्ट सेम थिंग ओके व्हाइट्स में व्हाइट्स बढ़ जाते हैं ब्लैक्स में ब्लैक्स बढ़ जाते हैं आई जस्ट रिमूव दिस आ गया कॉन्ट्रास्ट सेम थिंग कॉन्ट्रास्ट एंड योर हाईलाइट शेडोज इज नथिंग बट सेम मतलब दिस पोजिशन ऑफ हाईलाइट एंड शेडोज ओके दिस ये हाईलाइट बढ़ गए शेडोज कम हो गए मतलब शेडोज भी बढ़ गए ये साइड में दिस इज नथिंग बट कॉन्ट्रास्ट वेरी क्लियर नाउ वॉट इज कॉन्ट्रास्ट थर्ड थर्ड वे टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज योर कॉन्ट्रास्ट आई शोड यू टू वेज वन इज थ्रू द कॉन्ट्रास्ट स्लाइडर डिरेक्टली वन इज थ्रू योर टेक्सचर एंड क्लियरिटी ओके and the third one is through your highlights and shadow sliders now i'm going to show you the fourth one sorry fourth one you see this tone curve okay over here this is nothing but your highlights and shadows okay isme aapko kya karna hai see this there are, this is a grid okay this is 1 by 1 this is 2 by 2 this is 3 by 3 and this is 4 by 4 so this is a 4 by 4 uh, square and if you position your cursor at this one by one okay this is nothing but your darks okay if you position this to your two by two okay over here this is nothing but your dark so it 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 it, it basically depends kya aap kya move karna chahte ho now you can move it through the line over here or you can move it through the sliders whichever way you want Now, how to introduce contrast in this? मैंने यहाँ पे क्या किया था हाईलाइट में हाईलाइट बढ़ाया शेडोज में शेडोज बढ़ाया सेम थिंग ओवर यू डू ओवर हियर एस कर्व सी दिस ये ऊपर लिया लाइट ये डार्क नीचे लिया क्या हो गया इमेज में कॉन्ट्रास्ट आ गया सो एस कर्व इज योर कॉन्ट्रास्ट कर्व दिस इज वेरी वेल नोन but i doubt anybody shows this in the editing uh, tutorials this s curve is your contrast okay iska ulta i'll show you ulta what happens if i create an inverse s curve this flattens your image you see humne kya kiya tha his डीहेज का स्लाइडर मैंने यहाँ पे लेके गया था क्या हुआ था सेम थिंग इट फ्लैट योर इमेज वो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ हाईलाइट कम हो गए शेडोज भी कम हो गए तो मेरे शेडोज का वैल्यू कम हो गया हाईलाइट का वैल्यू कम हो गया सब दिखने लगा एंड देर इज वेर आई लूज ऑल द डिटेल्स हाउ एवर हाउ एवर हम क्या करते हैं इन माई प्रोसेस लो आई अप्लाई दिस टेक्निक okay i'll just reset all this okay and what i do is i reduce my highlights taki mere extreme highlights jo hai wo kam ho jata hai aur i increase my shadows to mere details sab bahar aa jate hai ye dekhiye aankh bahar aa gayi yahan ka jo fur hai wo dikhne laga acche se okay yahan pe jo details hai wo dikhne lage and jo mere highlights hai wo kam ho gaye then i can work on these highlights as and how i want okay so i apply this i i generally do not touch my contrast because contrast no see i'll tell you one thing um slider se matlab contrast ke bare mein ye bahut applicable hota hai uh slider se contrast agar aap move karte ho you don't know what is exactly moving 
हाईलाइट्स कितने बढ़ रहे हैं शेडोज कितने बढ़ रहे हैं आपको समझ में कभी नहीं आएगा हाउ एवर वेन यू आर वर्किंग इट फ्रॉम यूर हाईलाइट स्लाइडर एंड शेडो स्लाइडर इंडिविजुअली आपको ये समझ में आ रहा है कि आपका हाईलाइट्स कितना कम हुआ है जस्ट मोमेंट आई जस्ट हैव अ सिप ऑफ वाटर आपका हाईलाइट्स कितना कम हुआ है और आपका शेडोज कितना कम हुआ है ये आपको एग्जैक्टली exactly समझ में आएगा तो अगर आपको किसी भी केस में अगर आपको कॉन्ट्रास्ट काम करना है तो डोंट मूव दिस स्लाइडर Don't touch this slider. It's my it's my way of doing it. I never touch this slider. Instead, I give a contrast from here. See, मैंने क्या किया? मेरा जितना light से white से उतना मेरा black से और मेरा contrast आ गया देखो. See this. So this is the base image. This is my adjusted image in terms of contrast. So मेरे details भी बाहर आ गए हैं. मेरा कंट्रास्ट भी अच्छा खासा हो गया है मेरा मेरा टेक्सचर भी आ गया है ओके सो दिस इज हाउ आई वर्क ऑन माय हाइलाइट्स शैडोज वाइट्स एंड ब्लैक्स तो आपको क्या करना है हमेशा इमेज देख के अगर आपको लगता है कि इमेज का हाइलाइट्स uh, के एरिया में बहुत ज्यादा हो गया है रिड्यूस योर हाईलाइट इंक्रीज योर शेडोज सो दैट ऑल योर हिडन डिटेल्स इन द शेडोज कम आउट प्रॉपरली एंड देन If you just want to add a bit of contrast, just pop this white to the right, very slightly. Pop this black to the left, very slightly. Contrast be added, jaega details be dikh jayenge. Any doubts till now? Can you go directly to the tone curve without touching all the top slides? Only Pardon? with tone. Can you just uh, play with the tone curve instead of doing all this contrast okay. highlight? Okay, okay. I'll I'll show you. I'll just reset this. तो मैंने क्या किया था आई एम नॉट टचिंग एनी ऑफ दिस आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू वर्क विद द टोन कर्व ओके नाउ वर्किंग विद द टोन कर्व ऑन द लाइन इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट जो मैंने ऊपर किया था ओके हेंस व्हाट आई डू आई ड्रॉप द हाइलाइट्स ओके आई इंक्रीज माय शेडोज तो मेरा क्या हुआ इमेज क्या हुआ फ्लैट हो गया एंड आई जस्ट पॉप माई लाइट and my darks see same effect or uh, somewhere around same effect same thing your your tone curves and this highlights and shadows this is 19 20 ek hi hai okay however yahan se you apply it to the entire image here you are applying it specifically to the highlights and to the shadows your tone curves are extremely important basically see isme sirf itna hi difference hai ye wala tone curve matlab ye jo hai ye jo wala hai this one okay isme aur isme zyada kuch farak nahi hai what helps your tone curve is basically these colors if you want to adjust the reds greens and blues This is where your tone curves come. Okay, इसमें अगर आप करोगे तो you are actually doing this only. <coughs> Did I answer your question? So, so you you don't play, touch the contrast. You play with the whites, blacks, and other exactly, things. Exactly, exactly. I do not touch the contrast. As I said earlier, I do not know what is happening. मेरे को कुछ भी values समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कि मेरा contrast See now, I'll, I'll I'll explain it in this way. अगर मैं contrast को दस लेके जा रहा हूँ, आप मुझे बता सकते हैं कि मेरे highlights का value कितना है, shadows का value कितना है? नहीं बता सकते, right? You're not able to you're not able to uh, uh, tell me what where your highlights value is and your shadows value it. You just know that your contrast is ten. It might be that your highlights are ten and shadows are ten and while white certain and black certain but i'm not sure that it is the case however instead of touching this contrast if i work with my highlights and shadows i exactly know where my highlights are at what value it is and my shadows are at what value it is so this is something of a more of a manual way of working with your contrast 
instead of doing it the auto way in the slider. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what my process is that I reduce my highlights slightly. Okay. I increase my shadows or I reduce my shadows. I flatten the image. So isse kya hota hai? You see, now right now you see that this is all dark. This is all in shadows. Okay. If you see this, this is all in shadows. Okay. Isse kya hua? Mera jo highlights hai. Ye, ye dekhi, ye highlights jo hai yaha pe. Okay. Spectacular highlights jo hai. Ye mene kam kar di. See this. I am, I am reducing those highlights. So highlights जैसे ही मैं कम करता हूँ, so you can see एक मिनट मैं zoom in करके दिखाता हूँ. See now put your focus on entirely on this area. जैसे ही मैं highlights कम करता हूँ, see this the details are not there in the highlights. See, okay there are no there are very less details in the highlights. जैसे ही मैं highlights कम करते जाता हूँ, I can actually see the details of those hairs coming out slightly. ओके एंड जैसे ही मैं शैडोज अप करता हूं यू कैन सी सी ओवर हियर और हियर जैसे मैं शैडोज अप करता हूं आई कैन गेट ऑल द डिटेल्स इन माय शैडोज सी कभी-कभी तो मैं ऐसे भी करके रखता हूं दिस फ्लैटन माय इमेज कंप्लीटली नो नो कंट्रास्ट एंड टू ऐड दैट स्मॉल पॉप और व्हाट यू सेड लाइक यू नो दैट पंप इन द इमेज वेरी स्लाइटली what I do is I increase my whites slightly and my shadows in the same range slightly. So what happened here? Here my blacks bhi thoda sa add hua, whites bhi thoda sa add hua. So my details bhi bahar aa gaya, my contrast bhi lag gaya. Very easy. Okay. So I will demonstrate this when I am editing a full image. Okay. Right now I am just explaining you all these sliders. Hmm. So this is the power of your highlights and shadows. You can experiment it however you want. मैंने बहुत लोगों को सिर्फ ये ऐसे बढ़ाते हुए भी देखा है. I've I've seen people not even touching the highlights. So that is their way of doing it. Now see after processing images in detail for around six seven years, um, I'm able to understand कि मेरे highlights कब कहाँ कम होने चाहिए कब कहाँ ज़्यादा होने चाहिए. I am not giving you a spoon-fed like you know solution कि आपको हर इमेज में हाइलाइट्स को जाके माइनस सेवेंटी पे डालना है शैडोस को जाके प्लस सेवेंटी में डालना है वाइट्स को जाके टेन में डालना है ब्लैक्स को जाके माइनस टेन में डालना है I am not giving you a spoon-fed value anywhere I am just demonstrating you what looks fine now that can change from image to image okay now Coming to your texture clarity and dehaze, dehaze very rarely we use. Very rarely, only in cases like you know where uh, there is a lot of morning mist or there is a lot of like you know smog in front of the image. Usi cases mein ham log um, uh, dehaze use karte hai. Then basically, as I told you, dehaze kya karta hai? Whites ko cut karta hai, blacks ko thoda pump karta hai, and it adds a contrast on the image. That is nothing but dehaze. Texture का मेरा एक fixed value रहता है। इससे ना image को harm भी नहीं पहुँचता। मतलब image का value भी deteriorate नहीं होता है, but आपको texture में भी अच्छा कासा pump मिल जाता है। For texture and clarity, you can use the value ten. So ten and n. बस इतना करके रखो। you are good to go ahead. But अगर बहुत ही sharp हो रहा है, मतलब if you if you start seeing extremely sharp images, then you can reduce that value to five as well. So see, this is good enough to go. But अगर अपने ये थोड़ा सा भी ज़्यादा बढ़ा है, तो it starts adding a lot of contrast and like you know, it will also increase your this thing noise as well. तो आपको थोड़ा सा सावधान रहना है इस केस में कि आपका इस केस में नॉइज भी ना बढ़े और आपका टेक्सचर भी अच्छे से आ जाए तो जनरली आई यूज द वैल्यू टेन एंड क्लियरिटी के केस में टेन एंड आई एम गुड टू गो ओके 
now let's come to uh, let's come to the next part of the sliders okay vibrance and saturation <clears throat> now can somebody tell me the difference between vibrance and saturation what is vibrance and saturation koi bata sakta hai agar kisi ko pata hai to vibrance so mainly the primary colors saturation all the colors perfect perfect okay so vibrance se aapka rgb ye enhance ho jata hai okay एंड सेचुरेशन से आपका आर जी बी और सी एम वाई के ये दोनों कलर ये दोनों कलर पैलेट चेंज होता है मतलब एनहांस हो जाता है ओके प्राइमरी कलर आर वॉट और आर जी बी सेचुरेशन से क्या होता है आर जी बी प्लस सी एम वाई के ऑल ऑफ दम इंक्रीज हाउ एवर देर इज अ स्मॉल थिंग टू रिमेम्बर वाइब्रेंस से क्या होता है वाइब्रेंस से लीनियर वे में आपका वाइब्रेंस बढ़ते जाता है जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन ऐसे बढ़ेगा सेचुरेशन से क्या होगा जीरो टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी फोर ऐसे बढ़ते मतलब आपको समझ में भी नहीं आएगा कि आपका इमेज कब ओवर सेचुरेटेड हो गया है इट 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 गेट्स एडेड इन क्या बोलते हैं ना Com, um, I, I forgot that word two four six eight what what it is called, but it arithmetic progression. Pardon? Arithmetic progression. Ah, arithmetic progression. Yes. Uh, usko I I. Anyways, let's not get into that. But it 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 grows very drastically. So see what I'm I'm demonstrating. I'm increasing the vibrance. You'll see a very small and a very beautiful increase in the pump in the colors. ओके okay. यही अगर मैं अपना वैल्यू कितना था से फॉर एग्जांपल अपना वैल्यू थर्टी था ओके नाउ यू कीप दिस इमेज इन योर माइंड आई नो इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू डू दैट अगर मैं ये जीरो करता हूं एंड इफ आई इंक्रीज दिस टू थर्टी सी द डिफरेंस कैन यू सी जब आई थिंक सो इट इट इंक्रीजेस बाय ऑलमोस्ट ट्वाइस और थ्राइस द पावर सो इसका भी मेरा वैल्यू एक सेट है ओके आई जनरली आई जनरली डू नॉट अलाउ ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स टू गो बियॉन्ड फाइव और टेन इससे क्या होगा आपके कलर को भी थोड़ा सा पंप भी मिलेगा बट आपका इमेज ओवर सेचुरेटेड नहीं होगा हाउ एवर विथ सॉरी विथ वाइब्रेंस आई अलाउ माय स्टूडेंट्स टू गो अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव और अराउंड थर्टी बिकॉज इससे क्या होगा कि आपका वाइब्रेंस भी अच्छे खास से बढ़ेगा not causing a damage to the image and you will get a good nice saturated image anyways you will have to go and work over here but vibrance and saturation is like a quick fix crocin le liya bukhar baga diya bas quick fix agar aapko <coughs> detail mein kaam karna hai agar aapko uh, if you want to go for a very nice detail change in every single color i would suggest don't touch vibrance and saturation then go for uh, manual mode but agar aapko quick fix lena hai thoda sa vibrance badhao around 25 ke taraf saturation around 5 to 6 and you are good to go with your colors nice beautiful pump in your colors quick fix okay ye raha vibrance and saturation okay i uh, i have already explained the tone curve to you however let's see this see this part okay now earlier what we are doing i'll 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 uh, i'll show you one more uh, advantage of using um, a tone curve okay firstly there is this thing called as a knob okay this is called as adjust point curve by dragging the photo see this this is a hook point okay now kya hota hai can you tell me by looking at the image where there are Where there is fifty percent grey, can you tell me? Just by looking at the image, can you tell me where there is fifty percent grey? No, right? It is very difficult. Or can you tell me where there are there is exact highlights, or there is exact shadows, or exact blacks and exact whites? Extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. Our brain is not um, designed to understand tones 
perfectly no one can okay however using this hook point you can actually go and put your pointer on a 50% gray i'll tell you how the moment you enable this hook point okay you see this kind of a cursor okay can you see this when i move this crosshair and a circle and two arrows come okay now the moment i start moving this cursor this point starts moving on the line see this there is a point which starts moving on the line automatically so if i want to point of 50% gray see this is 50% gray okay these are perfect mid tones if i want to show you blacks let's see there are blacks see this mm. still shadows 100% black might be somewhere around here see this and can you see why i was telling you to press j see pure blacks wherever there is dye pure black okay now if i if i say for example increase my this thing okay hmm? now see wherever i move this anchor see this pure whites pure white iske beech mein somewhere near highlight somewhere near whites but not pure whites over here 100% white 100% white easy hai na ye dye use karna ki it tells you na where your image has been clipped okay so that is why i told you first thing first thing is to press j and see where your highlights and shadows are or where your whites and blacks are okay. now when you enable this you can exactly come to whites highlights shadows okay now see for example these these are highlights so if i just increase this all the tones corresponding to that point are moving so basically over here what is happening is i'll show you wait a minute huh? huh see this now what is happening if i point my curve or point my anchor over here if i start increasing see my lights are getting affected all the lights in my images corresponding to lights are increasing see okay now if i go for my blacks see this see all my shadows are decreasing okay corresponding to that as i said it's a global change okay however you can still target to the corresponding tones okay now what happens in a tone curve i'll explain you very quickly okay in lightroom there is no way in which you can mark two points on the same tone curve see if i mark a point over here i am not able to point a mark over here there are no there is no way in which you can work on a multiple points in a tone curve agar aapko ye karna hai to uske aaju baaju mein jitne bhi curves hai wo affect honge so mera point ye hai mera point ye hai but agar aapne dekha to ye bhi affect ho gaya aur ye bhi affect ho gaya however why is photoshop a more precise and powerful tool is because in photoshop in tone curve you are able to work on two different or 10 different or 50 different points say for example maine ye image liya okay iska maine tone curve khola see this tone curve khola and i want to work only on this point see this okay isme bhi hoga but there is way to control it see maine kitne points start kiye yahan pe चार पांच पॉइंट चार्ट की एंड नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज इफ आई इफ आई प्लान टू मूव दिस सी दिस दिस इज मूविंग ओके बट आई कैन अगेन ब्रिंग दिस डाउन देखा हो आई जस्ट इंक्रीज दिस टोन कर भी इतना सा सो आई कैन वर्क ऑन टेन टू फिफ्टीन डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स एट द सेम टाइम वेरी पावरफुल इन फोटोशॉप बट दिस एबिलिटी इज नॉट देयर इन लाइक okay coming back to lightroom agar aapko ek point pe kaam karna hai to aapko ye samajh ke chalna hoga ki uske aaju baaju ke jitne bhi 
टोन्स हैं वो अफेक्ट होने वाले हैं ये आपको चल के जाना पड़ेगा ओके okay? उसके लिए एक एक वे है एंड आई आई कम टू दैट वे इन सम टाइम थोड़ा सा एडवांस्ड वे है वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दैट एज वेल बट आपको समझ में आएगा टोन टोन कफ का क्या मतलब ये एंकर पॉइंट कैसे यूज करते हैं वेरी प्रिसाइज वेरी गुड टूल ओके इसमें देखिए नाउ दिस इज समथिंग ऑल्ड एज एडजस्ट ओके नाउ ओवर हियर सी दिस ये स्लाइडर है दिस इज योर हाईलाइट स्लाइडर दिस इज योर शेडो स्लाइडर दिस इज योर हाईलाइट एंड दिस इज योर शेडोज सॉरी दिस इज योर हाईलाइट दिस इज योर शेडोज दिस इज योर अरे यार मैं क्या बात कर रहा हूँ शिट दिस इज योर हाईलाइट दिस इज योर मिड टोन एंड दिस इज योर शेडोज ओके सॉरी फॉर द कंफ्यूजन नाउ आई कैन मूव दिस दिस एज वेल आई कैन मूव दिस एज रेफरेंस पॉइंट्स ओके आई कैन मूव दिस एज रेफरेंस पॉइंट्स अगर मेरा ये यहाँ पे मैंने शेडो निकाल के रखा है तो सी दिस इज माय शेडो समझ में आपको आप कैसे कर सकते हो बट अगेन एज आई सेड आपको इसका प्रैक्टिस लगेगा आपको इसका खेल के देखना पड़ेगा ऑन योर ओन लेवल कि आपको रेफरेंस पॉइंट मूव करने के बाद मेरा क्या इफेक्ट हो जाता है ओके ना पार्डन समबडी सेड समथिंग ओके सो नाउ गोइंग अहेड ओके अभी तक हमने क्या देखा था अभी तक हमने ये देखा था यहाँ पे दिस इज योर दिस इज योर बेसिक टोन कर This is your basic tone curve. Okay, now we are going ahead towards your colored tone curves. Okay. Hey, one minute. Ah, okay. So now, let's see what happens. Okay, when we are moving to our reds, anything which is up is your reds, and anything which is at the bottom. is your cyan it's not green keep in mind this is not green red ka complementary color kya hai cyan hai green ka complementary color kya hai magenta hai aur blue ka complementary color kya hai yellow hai ye hamesha yaad rakhna though it is looking like green this is not this is cyan okay this is cyan so agar main mera highlights agar upar leke jata hu to my highlights go to reds okay अगर मैं मेरा हाइलाइट्स नीचे लेके आता हूं तो मेरा हाइलाइट्स गो टू साइंस दिस इज योर टोनालिटी चेंज ओके सेम वे यू कैन वर्क ऑन दिस वे सी दिस अगर मैं हाइलाइट्स को ऊपर लेके गया और मैं शेडोज को नीचे लेके आया तो सी स्प्लिट टोनिंग हाइलाइट्स आर रेड शेडोज आर साइंस ब्यूटिफुल इज इंड इट आई जस्ट रीसेट इट वंस अगेन okay similarly if i go to my greens as i said again ups are all greens downs are all magentas okay i go i take my highlights to the greens i bring my shadows to the magentas see again split toning see okay again i'll i'll reset this okay blue as i said bottoms are all yellows tops are all blues Hi highlight agar main yellow ke taraf leke gaya shadows ko agar main blue ke taraf leke gaya again split toning very uh, uh, um, like you know um, not used very generally not used very generally uh, used on a more of a artistic editing level like you know where you want split tones स्ट्रीट में जनरली स्प्लिट टोन यूज होता है ऑरेंजेस एंड ब्लैक्स और ऑरेंजेस एंड ब्लूज ये सब स्ट्रीट फोटोग्राफी में यूज होता है वाइल्ड लाइफ में भी जनरली प्रेफर टू कीप ऑन टू द सेम कलर्स गुड टोनल रेंजेस जनरली वाइल्ड लाइफ में आर्टिस्टिक की तरफ यूज होता है यूज इट इन आर्टिस्टिक स्टफ बट नॉट ऑन द रेगुलर वे मैंने सिर्फ बता के रखा बिकॉज यू शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन दीज or when you are seeing this video and when you are working on this simultaneously you should be able to locate what is exactly going on what is exactly going on okay now coming to 
दिस इज दिस ये आपको सबको समझ में आया टोन कर्व किसी को एनी 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 डाउट इज देयर इन द टोन कर्व आई एम फ्री टू आंसर सो आस्क अवे रॉयली डोंट डोंट शाई आउट एनी डाउट इन टोन कर्व या आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन यस If if you do the same S curve for all the colors, हाँ, huh? will you get the uh, image as a balanced image or will you see any difference? Let's try out. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, I did that. What what you asked me, I did that. S curve for all the colors. Yeah. Okay. Now let's see the before and after. Before, after, before, mm -hmm. after. What it did, I'll tell you. It did nothing, but it just added contrast to your image. Yeah. It didn't change any colors. You you see this? It didn't change any colors. It just enhanced the colors a bit. But it added a contrast because why? S curve is S curve really relates to what? Highlights and shadows. Exactly. Understood. So yeah. colors remain the same. Mm -hmm. If you do this, now see again. I am telling you one thing very, uh, very frankly. Now what I did might not be perfect to number, or it might not be numerically correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. The जो हमने रेड में किया वो हमने ग्रीन में शायद से नहीं किया होगा उन्नीस बीस इधर ऊपर प्लस वन माइनस वन माइट है बट यू सी दैट कलर्स आर सेम दे आर जस्ट वाइब्रेंट और देर वाइब्रेंस सेचुरेशन हैज बीन इंक्रीज स्लाइटली बट देर इज अडिशन ऑफ कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू द इमेज सो यही चीज इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग इन ऑल थ्री इफ यू जस्ट डू इट इन द रेग्युलर अपना रेग्युलर ये आरजीबी वन It results to the same output. See, your colors are also increasing the same way mm -hmm. because your colors are going to get a pump in the in the tones because of the highlights and shadows. Simple. Okay, did I answer your question? Yes. Okay, great. So, um, shall we move ahead? Yeah. Do you guys want to take a quick five minutes break? Uh, yeah. Anupam ji, just one question. Ah, sure, sure. normally which one you prefer uh, for editing or enhancing colors the s curve s curve i am mean, this curve tone tonal uh -huh. curve or uh, better uh, slider ones the slider ones sir <laughs> i'll tell you the reason yeah that's what i'll tell you the reason tones uh, tones are what tones are highlights and shadows okay uh, yeah. whatever you saw just now when when i was increasing high, uh, reds for highlights and uh, um, cyan for magenta it goes wonky it will always go wonky you are not you are not aiming to um, uh, like you know uh, i will say uh, you are not aiming to increase colors in the highlights and shadows to be very frank you want your colors to be applied globally and perfectly tone curve never use tone curve to adjust your colors tone curve color management is used for split toning and split toning is 99% never used in wildlife and nature and in landscapes as well uh, split toning you will always find in street uh, um, uh, like you know fashion um um uh, i'll even say this uh, what they call it uh, still life product they'll always use split toning but wildlife and nature will never have split toning have you ever seen red mountains and uh, uh uh a uh, uh, cyan sky is never that is that is never a combination in the nature so never use tone curve for color management tone curves for tonal management it's a beautiful tool but for color management don't go for wildlife and nature in uh, tonal curves okay i hope i answered your question yes yes okay perfect so now um do you want to take a 5 minutes break or uh, you want me to continue
no we can take 5 minutes break that will okay be. okay fine so guys uh, just take a break of 5 uh, minutes uh, right now it's 9:14 uh, we'll meet at 9:20 okay 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 perfect hmm
Okay, shall we uh, start? Shall we uh, resume the session? Everybody back? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Varun. Uh, yeah. Rajendran sir. Okay. I'm okay. With okay. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Hello. So we are resuming the session. Okay. 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 Great. Hmm. So where were we till now? We completed the tone curve. Okay. Now coming to the next part of the editing panel. Hmm? You are working with the HSL curve. HSL, uh, uh, sorry, not curve. HSL sliders. Okay. What does HSL stand for? What does HSL stand for? Anyone? Hello? Not able to hear anybody. Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, now you are able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. What does HSL stand for? U saturation and... Uh... Uh, and, uh, luminance. Uh, correct. U saturation and luminance. What is difference between U and saturation? Can somebody tell me? Any idea? What is U and what is saturation? What is U basically? Chalo, let's first take consideration of U. What is U? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'll give a nice small example. You go with your um, wife for shopping or your girlfriend for shopping or whoever, like, you know, parents. And uh, generally ladies. Okay, no offenses, Minakshi ji. But what happens you ask for a color? Bhaiya, red. Dikhao. Bhaiya gives you red. Red ka kuch bhi cloth deta hai. Nahi hai. Ye, ye red acha nahi lag raha hai. Mujhe dusra wala red dikhao. Then he shows you different kind of red. Wo bhi nahi acha lagta hai. Fir tisra type ka red deta hai. Haan, wo bada pasand aata hai. So, apko kya hua? Ki you are searching for a different range in that red. Okay. Red starts from. See, I'll, I'll show you. So, red in, in U. Red stand from magenta. And it goes up to orange. And they all correspond to red. And then dark orange you will still consider it for red. So what U is nothing but very simple. Always remember this example. Different different versions of that same color is nothing but U. Now the problem comes when we are taking into consideration nature and nature and landscape or wildlife and nature and landscape aapko ek specific color ka uh, matlab color ka jo hue hai wo hi nature mein dikhne ko milega okay aapko neon greens neon green jhad patte kabhi dikhte hai kya acid green kabhi nahi dikhenge aapko dark orange leaves dikhenge kya kabhi nahi dikhenge there is a specific rule to the nature ki wo usi shades mein greens banata hai in in rainy seasons your greens might go a bit saturated but your greens will always have a value of yellow to so your your greens will always have an addition of uh, yellows to it to make it look very beautiful and hence, whenever you work with greens, there is always you have to remember that yellows ka thoda sa mixture hona chahiye to make sure that your greens do not look acid greens. I will explain karunga when I am editing. Okay. Now, use ko kabhi hath nahi lagana. You never touch use when working with nature and landscape and uh, wildlife. Because agar aapka you change ho gaya, ye dekho, I will show karke dikha tha. For example, if I touch green and if I change the hue, 
see what disaster it causes to the image. आपने कभी इस इस तरीके के पत्ते देखे कभी कभी नहीं देखोगे आप नेचर विल नेवर प्रोड्यूस सच काइंड ऑफ ग्रीन यस मॉस इज लाइक दिस मॉस माइट गो टू दिस काइंड ऑफ ग्रीन बट योर लीव एंड योर फॉलेज विल नेवर हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ ग्रीन सो हमें कभी भी यू को हाथ नहीं लगाना है ओके अलवेज रिमेम्बर यू एच एस एल में से एच निकल गया Now let's come to your saturation. Very simple. There are two ways to adjust your saturation, either with these, with these sliders, or again, uh, Lightroom has given you this hook point. So if you are not very sure that that point pe kaun se colors affect hone wale hai, you can you can easily take advantage of this hook point. Okay. Now say for example this part. Okay. my eyes see that as green but is it actually green or is it a combination of two or more colors let's see agar main green ko move karta hu to isme se jitne bhi green pixels hai sirf wohi attack honge aur kuch attack nahi hoga but now if this point as a whole has to be edited or the color has to be corrected very simple take, click on this target adjustment okay take it to this point any point that you want to change just click it and drag the mouse up upar ke taraf ghumana shuru karo so see as i said the yellows are more than greens in this in this area see see yellows zyada bad rahe greens kam bad rahe but dono ek sath bad rahe okay if i am not sure what color is this i might take it as only red but let's see what lightroom takes it as so it is a combination of orange and yellows so the advantage of this over in saturation and luminance helps a lot okay so jaise aap ye karoge matlab practice karoge aapke side pe always try to use this tool to वर्क ऑन योर कलर अगर आप सिर्फ ये कलर ही मूव करोगे सिंगल कलर कलर मूव करोगे यू विल नॉट गेट बेस्ट रिजल्ट सो दिस इज सैचुरेशन सैचुरेशन इज नथिंग बट एडिंग ऑफ दैट सेम कलर टू इट सेल्फ इज सैचुरेशन ओके नाउ वन थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट यू टू ऑब्जर्व इज सी हाउ द सैचुरेशन बार आर कलर कोडेड ओके सी दिस now if i move to luminance see the difference so here it is pure black here it is light red pure black light orange pure black light yellow dusri cheez aapko bahut dhyan se dekhni hai big difference in uh, uh, the photoshop and lightroom photoshop mein orange aur purple ye color hi nahi hai because orange and purple are colors which are created by adding two different colors red and yellow purple is a color which is created by using blue and magenta inhone kya kiya hai ease of editing ke liye layman uh, person ke liye ya layman editor ke liye ya introductory editor ke liye they have added orange and purple orange move karne ka matlab kya hua red scope badhao yellow scope badhao in the same range you get oranges purple ka kya hai blues and magenta same level mein badhao blues ko bhi patch kiya magenta ko bhi magenta ko bhi patch kiya purple patch ho gaya approximately okay so ye of course uh, difference dikhega now luminance is nothing but perceived brightness of every individual color perceived brightness of every individual color so simple in luminance you take this hook point okay and see aapko wohi behavior yahan pe bhi dikhai dega but however yahan pe aapka difference kya hoga ki aapka uska brightness upar niche ho jayega so perceived brightness of yellow and green is increasing perceived brightness of orange and yellows is increasing now you see the relation ki yahan pe bhi yellows hai yahan pe bhi yellows hai is pe bhi thoda sa effect padega agar ye aap move kar rahe ho see this i'll show you the 
सी जहां जहां पे येलो स्लाइडर है ऑरेंज स्लाइडर है वो, वो सब मूव होना शुरू करेंगे यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग इन लाइट रूम वर्किंग इन लाइट रूम इज आई वुड से फाइव टाइम्स डिफिकल्ट एन वर्किंग इन फोटोशॉप फोटोशॉप में यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन टू अप्लाई द कलर टू अ स्पेसिफिक एरिया यहाँ पे नहीं है सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी 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 केयरफुल ओके सो ये हो गया सेचुरेशन एंड लुमिनंस ओके एंड ऑल अगर क्लिक करोगे तो तीनों के तीनों पैनल खुल जाएंगे नॉट नेसेसरी इट्स इट वेस्ट लॉट ऑफ स्पेस ओके ये हो गया यू सेचुरेशन एंड लुमिनंस एनीबडी हैज अ डाउट इन यू सेचुरेशन लुमिनंस इट इज वेरी सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी एनीबडी हैज अ डाउट और शुड आई मूव अहेड ओके सो आई टेक दैट हैज अ मूव अहेड now color grading is something we are going to skip okay uh, it is it is something which is not at all required in your nature landscape it's very simple i'll quickly show you what happens in color grading okay this is nothing but uh, your uh, midtones midtones ka circle hai shadows and highlights i doubt ye aapko aapke version of lightroom mein milega if you are using a लाइसेंस वर्जन ऑफ लाइट रूम एंड इफ यू हैव अपग्रेडेड तो ही ये दिखेगा दिस इज समथिंग वेरी न्यू दैट दे हैव एडेड पहले सिर्फ स्लाइडर से कलर स्लाइडर था और उसका सेचुरेशन स्लाइडर था एंड यू जस्ट नीड टू मूव दैट एंड नीड टू सेट द बैलेंस बस इतना ही था बट दिस इज समथिंग वेरी न्यू इवन आई हैव नॉट एक्सप्लोर दिस बिकॉज आई डोंट नीड दिस ओके आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ड्रॉप दिस कलर ग्रेडिंग एट द मोमेंट now we come to a very important part uh, of sharpening and uh, noise reduction okay so what does this sharpening do okay so say for example this is a point okay jaise for example um, now sharpening noise reduction you have to do at the end of the image processing at the fag end of it matlab export karne ke pehle what you do is you take this square okay this is like your point to where your this thing is moving okay yahan pe maine click kiya ye mera point set ho gaya develop activated okay ab isme sharpening ke kuch values hai wo aap dekh lena yaad kar lena okay this amount has to go to 80 by mat poocho this is experience i'm telling you amount has to be 80 radius has to be 0.8 ओके नॉट इवन वन जीरो पॉइंट एट नहीं तो बहुत ओवर शार्प हो जाता है ओके डिटेल कैन रिमेन एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डोंट टच डिटेल हाउ एवर नाउ सी वॉट आई एम डूइंग अब ये मास्किंग अगर मूव करना शुरू करोगे तो आपको कुछ इफेक्ट दिखेगा नहीं आराम से ओके बट नाउ इफ यू प्रेस ऑल्ट ऑल्ट सी दिस शार्पनिंग मूव टू रिसेट शार्पनिंग एंड दिस रिसेट नॉइज रिडक्शन ओके ऑल्ट क्लिक ऑन मास्किंग ये व्हाइट हो जाता है एंड नाउ स्टार्ट मूविंग योर स्लाइडर विच एवर पार्ट इज व्हाइट इज योर वहां पे शार्पनिंग अप्लाई हो रहा है डू यू नीड शार्पनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड यू डोंट नीड बिकॉज इट्स ऑल ब्लर्ड यू नीड शार्पनिंग ऑन द ऑन द फोर ऑफ द मंकी यस यू नीड सी दिस so these are the parts which are the which are the sharpest of your image to apne kya kiya sharpening ko mask apply kiya aur yahan pe hi sirf masking ka concept aata hai in lightroom otherwise there is no masking in lightroom sirf yahi pe masking aata hai where there is black there is no sharpening applied where there is white there is sharpening applied simple ab ye aur ये भी कर सकते हो और और माइन्यूट चेंज भी इसमें कर सकते हो जैसे मैं ऑल और माउस छोड़ दूंगा इट रिटर्न बैक टू नॉर्मल बट नाउ वॉट एवर दिस वैल्यू इज दिस इज शार्पन सी आई ट्राई टू शो यू द बिफोर एंड आफ्टर जा डाउट यस Yeah, I edited some of. Uh, I actually uh, shot a puppy, a German Shepherd puppy. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And I edited some of it, some of its pictures. So mm-hmm. I sharpened them a bit. I also applied the masking, what you just showed. Mm-hmm. And then when I uh, transferred the photos into my phone, mm-hmm. the photos looked a bit over sharpened. Yes, so, because your radius and your detail might have gone uh, above the value that I have shown. Okay, so is there any specific value for yes. uh, transferring the photos into your phone? That is what I'm showing you. It is 0.8 and your detail should be 25. Okay. Okay. Thank this you. is for phone. This is what I'm teaching you is for social media or for phone. Okay. So trust me, if you use these values, you will never see over sharpened images. <laughs> yeah, because I uh, saw the images were uh, really over sharpened. Yes. Very yeah, so unique kind of images, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. So that is what i said in the starting so these are the values i don't know why these are coming extremely out of experience Both karke 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 i have tried out and tested this and i use the same same values in my photoshop as well okay so same uh, so you said that you put the 80 and then you apply masking yes so see basically what is happening i'll i'll tell you these values are your generic values these 80 0 0.8 and 25 when you apply these this when this slider what I, was at this position this was getting applied to everything global okay, okay. okay. now with masking what i'm doing is i am slowly reducing see this the area where i don't want the sharpening to be applied so see this and how it computes this, I'll tell you now. Okay. If you see the image, if you see the image as it is, the area behind the monkey is your background and it is already blurred. Okay. The area in front of your monkey is your foreground. Again, it's blurred. What is sharp? Your monkey is sharp. And that Lightroom is catching that this is the part which is the sharpest of all. And I need to make sure that the user who is applying the masking makes selection of this sharp object only. And so then wait till the white color comes or till the white color comes or ha. Huh. You... Yes. So see this, what I'm doing. I'll show you once again. Okay. So alt click. So white. So when this is pure white, this means that the masking is applied or uh, sorry, the, the sharpness is applied on the entire image. Okay, right from corner to corner. The moment I start to move this, see. Now I can start seeing the monkey. I can start seeing the foreground, background. Okay. The moment you see that the fur on the monkey is only visible. See this. Background ka sharpening nikal gaya. I don't want sharpening unnecessarily for my background. That has to be super smooth. Right. So, jaisai mai ni... Aage, aage, aage leke jata hu. I can actually I can actually see the four. I can actually see the filaments of the four in the sharpening in the mask. Can you see that? I can yeah, actually yeah. see the filaments, and that is where my sharpening has to be actually applied. Right. So so if I if I if I see this, say for example, okay. I, I won't be able to actually show you guys the difference in the uh, sharpening on a screen sharing. Uh, but if I am seeing it, I'm actually able to see the sharpening applied. Okay. So you try this at your side. If it works, fantastically do let me, do thank me. But this is how the sharpening has to be applied. It has to be masked. It has to be applied at the specific areas only. And Lightroom is intelligent enough, AI based enough that it will give you the perfect sharp edge where the uh, this thing has to be applied. Okay. Now, so this is your sharpening. Okay. Noise reduction. Noise reduction is all experience based. Okay. Now you have to take a call ki aapko kitna noise reduce karna hai. However, there is a big problem when you come towards noise reduction. The reason I'll tell you, when you start noise reduction, whatever sharpening you have applied on the image, your images start to look very soft. Your images start to look absolutely soft. I'll show you how. 
now you see this image okay now see what i'm doing okay you this this image is very sharp okay by the way <clears throat> now if i start to apply noise reduction you see the hair has gone soft can you see this can you see it see this this is before applying noise reduction this is after applying noise reduction absolutely soft matlab hi nahi rehta image ka kuch okay so i'll tell you how to apply noise reduction i will generally dis uh, i mean um, uh, not encourage anybody to work with this noise reduction because again as i said it is a global enhancement aapka jo bhi apne yahan pe sharpening apply kiya hai usme sab pani gir jayega so generally i would suggest do not apply noise reduction from here it is global it will affect all your textures it will affect all your entire image pura image ka maza khada kharab ho jayega your image will start looking blunt without any textures okay so don't apply it from here agar aapko experiment karna hi hai so you can try it out no doubt but avoid it from here hmm? uh this is color detail and smoothness so again avoid avoid these things this is going to make your image absolutely blunt and textureless okay i have already uh, explained you the lens correction uh, no, uh, sharpening mein kisi ko bhi doubt hai ya i'll move ahead uh, anupam ji uh, the settings which you have given uh, for the sharpening that is 80 This is specifically uh, specifically for mobile and uh, web, right? Social. This is this is web. This is web and mobile. See, mobile and web is nothing but it is same. Okay. So okay. This is this. What about in general? If you are using, huh? For then it's like on user preference, right? But or the radius will be same. Radius has no. to be zero point eight when you are working with uh, with you are working with uh, this thing uh, web. Okay. Maybe like if you want to print, suppose. Ah, exactly. Good question. So for print, see what happens is in print your your sharpening goes for a slight toss. Okay. So what you have to do your radius for sharp uh, for print has to be one point five. Okay. Otherwise, your amount has to be same eighty, but radius has to be one point five because anyways in print what happens is. your colors become dull in print hence when when printing you are, you have to keep your image plus 5 vibrant so your colors again get compensated and come out properly in print okay. your radius has to be 1.5 so that your sharpness even though the image unsharpens itself in printing you still have some kind of textures Hmm? Okay, okay, because that's that's the one when sometimes when you want to give some output. Yes, yes. Uh, on the screen it looks different, and our print uh, it, it comes different. Again, uh, when exporting, if you see there are there is a sharpening that you can apply basically. So we'll talk about that. We'll yeah. talk about that. But when you are printing, you can give the radius as one point one point five, no doubt. Okay. Hmm? This yes. colors. Yes. Thank you. Colors. Can you uh, increase and uh, decrease selective colors? uh not actually in photo uh, in in sorry not actually in lightroom very difficult to do very there is for color color options in the hsl slash colors ah uh, what see hsl slash color see color is nothing but this okay again as i said this is nothing but same saturation luminance you are already getting over here saturation luminance it is one and the same the only thing is they have just in, they have just given you different different colors that's all agar ab ye dekhoge see this if you see sorry if you see this they have just clubbed red ka saturation and red ka luminance and red ka hue together same thing to ab to ab luminance matlab see simple hai agar aapko sirf red ka saturation and luminance at the same time kaam karna hai so you can go to color option वहां पे भी आपको सेम सब सेम मिलेगा उन्होंने सिर्फ वो प्रेजेंटेशन का वे दिया है दैट्स ऑल हाउ एवर एज आई सेड सिलेक्टिव कलर इन फोटोशॉप इज एब्सोल्युटली पावरफुल इन लाइटरूम इट इज नॉट सो पावरफुल बट आई विल शो यू अ वे हाउ टू ब्रिंग आउट योर कलर स्लोली वेट फॉर इट आई आई एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू 
okay perfect so now um i think uh, we we covered a detail part okay so i i doubt anybody has any doubts in the details uh, at the moment should i should i move ahead okay move ahead yeah okay perfect everybody is catching up with what i'm what i'm explaining right i'm not going to uh, fast or too slow right but we see the noise is uh, the noise reduction in lightroom right? pardon the noise reduction in lightroom you are not advising to use ha i'm not advising to use yes okay. the reason is we are going to use it with brush not not with the global adjustment so with the brush we are going to use it with uh, noise reduction uh, i i guess the noise reduction is not required uh, since we are applying the mask also and then we are sharpening the areas exactly. we want exactly we, we don't need global noise reduction but yes sometimes yeah. there is there is a requirement sometimes so okay. i'm going to explain it how to only apply noise reduction in the specific areas not not over the entire global image okay okay hmm? however um, i would suggest i mean see sant log keh ke gaye hai ki kuch cheeze mat karo so i am just telling it the same way over here ki noise reduction avoid karo apne jo bhi yahan pe kiya hai is pe sab pani kar jayega nothing else okay so um, anyways i am just kidding um, moving ahead lens correction humne dekh liya hai already i have already explained you lens correction transform we generally don't require because it is nothing but like you know vertical aise you are just like you know changing the entire um, image so this is not at all required to be very frank okay um this is for like you know catalog creations and all that things post crop vignetting um very interesting um this is nothing but you can add a vignette to your images okay however i am going to show you a very very beautiful way of adding vignettes don't go with this unless and until you just want to like you know as i said ride se aaye ho होटल पे बैठे हो कोई नहाने के लिए गया है यू हैव हाफ एन आवर ऑफ टाइम करना है फटाक से क्विक मतलब एज आई सेड लाइक यू नो क्विक फिक्स अगर करना है तो यहां से करो अदरवाइज इफ यू वांट टू रियली एडिट एन इमेज ब्यूटीफुली आई हैव अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वे ऑफ डूइंग दैट व्हिच विल कम इन नेक्स्ट 5 टू 10 मिनट्स ओके सो यहां से डू इट इफ यू आर रियली इन अ हरी अदरवाइज देयर इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वे ऑफ डूइंग इट नाउ यहाँ पे तो मैंने ये पूरा पैनल समझा दिया ओके हाउ एवर आई एम गोइंग टू नाउ कम टूवर्ड्स अ बिट ऑफ एडवांस्ड टेक्निक्स ओके एवरीबडी इज रेडी फॉर दैट वेरी सिंपल ओके वेरी सिंपल आई एम बाय डिफॉल्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू लाइक यू नो आई एम जस्ट आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू क्विकली बिकॉज आई डेंट शो दीज टू ऑप्शन टू यूर लियर दिस इज द क्रॉप uh crop factor that you can uh, work on your image uh, my advice okay uh how to crop now if you ask me how to crop uh now see uh, this entirely depends on the study of your image ki aapko aapke image mein kya kya samajh mein aaya aapko ye bhi dekhna hai ki kaun se part aapko image mein nahi chahiye jaise ki for example If you see this part, okay, this is really not required in the image because your foreground is really huge, okay, as compared to your background. However, these plants add a very important, a very interesting aspect in the image. Something very beautiful, okay. Again, this tree adds a very beautiful aspect in the image. However. आपने अगर ये इधर से इधर तक का पार्ट अगर आपने निकाल दिया ज्यादा कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा है बिकॉज यू कैन यू आर एबल टू शो द ट्री एनी वेज ओके सो व्हाट आई डू माय वे ऑफ माय वे ऑफ क्रॉपिंग इट इज आई कीप द एस्पेक्ट रेशो टू ओरिजिनल आई क्रॉप इट इन टू इज टू थ्री फर्स्ट ओके एंड हाउ आई क्रॉप इट मैंने ये नीचे का पार्ट निकाल लिया मैंने ये राइट right साइड का जो ट्री का पार्ट है वो निकाल लिया ओके एंड आई जस्ट मूव माय क्रॉप टू द लेफ्ट स्लाइटली नाउ सी दीज दीज पॉइंट्स आर कॉल्ड एज योर गोल्डन पॉइंट्स ओके दीज पॉइंट्स आर कॉल्ड एज योर 
गोल्डन पॉइंट दिस इज वेर मतलब दिस इज अ स्टडी बाय ऑल द फोटोग्राफर्स एंड इन्वेंटर्स ऑफ फोटोग्राफी एंड एवरीबडी दैट एवरीबडीज अटेंशन गोज टू दीज फोर पॉइंट फर्स्ट दैट इज वाई दे आर कॉल्ड एज गोल्डन पॉइंट there is something called a spiral triangle uh, diamond i'll show you how uh, however this is a very uh, stable and a very sustainable crop model that you can use so generally kya hota hai ki whatever you want to focus you put it on this golden point see this and it creates a beautiful story that now see the 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 monkey is looking on the right hand side it is looking towards the right direction i have given a very nice negative space over here i have given the space for the monkey okay agar yahi cheez agar main aise place karta is it impactful no right kuch to gadbad lag raha hai isme monkey ka face right mein hai par jagah hi nahi hai monkey ke liye so what i do is i place the monkey on the right hand side say this and i keep this crop a bit open Hmm? and this is how i will crop see hmm? now i want to show you quickly other cropping factors as well now the key o o for orange toggles between these different cropping parameters okay see this this is spiral okay these are reference points 4 is to 5 5 is to 7 2 is to 3 in vertical okay this is grid and this is your golden point now say for example if i want to place the monkey over here like this i can place it like this see again on this this is your golden golden line these are your golden lines which will pass through these points as a okay something like this hmm? so these are your golden lines just Uh, अगर आपके पास कोई इमेज है जहां पे एनिमल इज लुकिंग स्ट्रेट एट यू यू कैन प्लेस इट इन द सेंटर ओके अदरवाइज यू कैन ऑलवेज यूज ऑफ दीज फोर गोल्डन पॉइंट्स अगेन स्पाइरल में अगर रहेगा तो समथिंग जैसे कि ब्रांच है जैसे कि ब्रांच है और उसमें कुछ स्पाइरल ये है तो आपको जो इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट है जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल सॉरी 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 shift o it is now if i place this monkey on the spiral see okay again so see generally kya hota hai ki wo jo golden points hai uske sath hi ye conjunction mein work hota hai the way of using it you can decide ki aapka agar koi leading line hai to uske aap anusar wo spiral mein bitha sakte ho but again the the idea is same golden points you keep the important parts at the golden point and crop it okay similarly if you want to crop in vertical or in portrait there is a very simple way of doing it i learned it the hard way i am telling you observe it aapko there are two ways to do that okay you see this corner points okay aapko क्या करना है कि आपको माउस को उल्टे दिशे में घुमाना है दैट इज वन वे ऑफ डूइंग इट सी ओके यही चीज मैं आपको करके दिखा दो वापिस सी तो मैंने इसको अगर ऐसे घुमाया तो वो वर्टिकल का लैंडस्केप हो जाएगा बट द सेम थिंग यू कैन डू इट इन विथ वन क्लिक ऑफ वन बटन एक्स Vertical, horizontal, simple है हम्म ओके सो एक्स विल हेल्प यू ओनली इन क्रॉपिंग मोड है बाकी अगर अगर आप क्रॉपिंग मोड में नहीं रहोगे और एक्स दबाए तो कुछ नहीं होगा सो इन वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजोटल एक्स यस एक्स सी दिस एक्स एक्स फॉर जाइलोफोन ओके सो एक्स से वो इट विल जस्ट टॉगल बिटवीन योर हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल वेरी सिंपल नाउ ओ से मैंने जैसे दिखाया था कि डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ क्रॉपिंग मतलब क्रॉपिंग फैक्टर्स कि आपको गोल्डन पॉइंट चाहिए या आपको रूल ऑफ थर्ड चाहिए नाउ दिस इज 
दिस इज रूल ऑफ थर्ड दिस इज यूज इन लैंडस्केप मोस्टली या हॉराइजन जहां पे रहेगा वहां पे ऊपर के तरफ दो पार्ट नीचे की तरफ एक पार्ट या नीचे की तरफ दो पार्ट ऊपर की तरफ एक पार्ट ऐसे आप रख सकते हो ओके नाउ इन सम नाउ सी दिस फॉर दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस स्पाइरल यू कैन चेंज दिस वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट द स्पाइरल विथ शिफ्ट ओ सी शिफ्ट ओ ये आपको इसमें ऑप्शन देगा You can put this spiral point at different different locations using Shift O. पर यही चीज आपको इसमें इसमें भी मिलेगी इसी दिस दिस इज फॉर पोर्ट्रेट दिस इज फॉर लैंडस्केप ओके टू इज टू थ्री फाइव इज टू सेवन इसका आपको मिल जाएगा ओके हाउ एवर इसमें आपको कुछ चेंज नहीं दिखेगा इसमें आपको कुछ भी चेंज नहीं दिखेगा सिमिलरली इसमें भी आपको कुछ भी चेंज नहीं दिखेगा hmm? कुछ चेंज नहीं है हाउ एवर विथ दिस यू विल सी द चेंज शिफ्ट ओ इवन आई लव टू कीप द मतलब इफ यू सी दिस दिस क्रॉपिंग इज ऑल्सो रियली गुड फॉर दिस दिस थिंग मतलब पोर्ट्रेट में करके इफ आई सेट दिस मतलब सी दिस द वे द नोज एंड एवरीथिंग इज is aligned if i keep this kind of a cropping factor see this so maine acche tarike se background bhi rakha hai niche ki taraf foreground bhi rakha hai and my object has a good amount of space on the right hand side uh i have a doubt yes yeah so uh if i if i crop my image mm -hmm. while posting it on insta mm -hmm. uh you might know that when i'm posting the image it crops the image uh, while posting yes i'm coming to that Yes, so I'm coming. I just wanted to ask, what are the credentials for that? I'm coming to that. Now for Instagram, uh, five is to four is the ratio in which you need to crop. Five is to four. Okay. Now, इसमें कैसे कर सकते हो? See, now there are two ways to do that. Okay. आपका ये समझ लो कि image edit हो गया. Now this my image has been edited in two is to three. Okay. Now I want to create a five is to four. अगर मैंने इसको ही फाइव इंस टू फोर में क्रॉप कर दिया तो देन योर दिस टू इंस टू थ्री का रेशो विल गेट डिस्टर्ब तो इसके लिए एक आसान तरीका है वेरी सिंपल राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस इमेज व्हाट यू डू राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस इमेज एंड व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल कॉपी सी दिस क्रिएट अ वर्चुअल कॉपी इससे क्या हो जाएगा दूसरा उसी का एक कॉपी एड हो जाएगा इसको आप आराम से क्रॉप कर सकते हो फाइव इंस टू फोर में सी फोर इंस टू फाइव ये हो गया आपका इंस्टाग्राम का क्रॉप तो आपका ये टू इंस टू थ्री भी डिस्टर्ब नहीं हुआ ये भी अलग हो गया राइट क्लिक एंड एक्सपोर्ट सिंपल यू गॉट द आंसर ओके स्क्वेर के लिए वन इज टू वन लैंडस्केप के लिए टू इज टू थ्री चलेगा फॉर इंस्टाग्राम हाउ एवर पोर्ट्रेट के लिए इंस्टाग्राम ओनली एक्सेप्ट फोर इज टू फाइव टू इज टू थ्री डालोगे वो क्रॉप मारेगा सो फोर इज टू फाइव इज द एक्चुअल क्रॉप रेशो फॉर पोर्ट्रेट फोटोज इन इंस्टाग्राम ओके मूविंग अड नाउ वी आर एट टेन ओ क्लॉक वी हैव वन आवर लेफ्ट नाउ I am going to show you two or three different um, tools over here. Very, very beautiful tools. Uh, see very clearly. Okay, I am now going to be a bit more fast. Anyways, you guys are going to have the recording, so I am not going to repeat. If you have any doubts, you can see the recording and see what I am actually doing. Okay, ये मैं delete कर देता हूँ. Remove from Lightroom. Okay, now. Say for example, uh, I'm choosing a different photo for explaining this. Okay, let's see like this. Okay, uh, wait, I have a very uh, yes. Okay, very nice photo. Hmm? Some some storytelling for this. Okay, now. uh this is called as the graduated filter okay 
does anyone know or has used this graduated filter before yeah i have used okay so what does graduated filter do okay there are uh, two types of filters a bit bit varun i'll i'll explain okay uh, because uh, most of us don't know what graduated filter I, i thought you were asking me so okay okay so what does graduated filter do is it applies a filter in a linear manner where you can again work on the exposure and highlights for the applied area of the filter okay similarly there is something called as the radial filter and radial filter up gets applied in a circular manner okay main karke dikhata hu dono mein difference kya hai and the moment i click the radial filter you will see what happens over here okay i have clicked the radial filter now see the same options have appeared specifically for that filter okay now see for example i click over here and i drag this filter down okay now there is something called as feather there is something called as flow okay now if you want to see where the effect of this filter has been applied i press o so whatever the color gets highlighted in red is the effective area of the filter is the effective area of the filter okay or the um, aha filter of the filter now see agar main o rakhe hue agar main editing karunga yahan pe to mujhe kuch nahi samajh mein aayega so i just check where my filter till what level my filter has been applied okay say for example i apply till here ye mera aim hai ki mujhe yahan tak uska effect lana hai now see this part over here is a harsh is a bit harsh and this over here it has a feather to it okay this line is called as the flow line circle ke dot ke upar ki line hamesha flow line rehti hai ओके जिस दिशा में आप खींचोगे इट डिपेंड्स सो सर्कल के नीचे की लाइन इज योर फेदर लाइन जितनी नीचे आपकी फेदर लाइन उतना आपका ये जो फ्लो है ये फेदर आएगा ओके जैसे ही आप ये ऊपर की लाइन नीचे खींचना शुरू करोगे उतना आपका फ्लो नीचे गया जाएगा और आपका फेदर हार्श हो जाएगा सीरियस okay so very simple to understand and even simpler when you are doing it on your own okay ye jaise aap upar leke jate ho ye feather mein dekha apne kaise very soft feather hai okay feather matlab kya now i'll explain you that ye maine draw kiya ab maine sirf exposure increase kiya serious sirf yahi area mein jahan tak wo red tha वही एरिया में मेरा एक्सपोजर ऊपर नीचे हो रहा है यहां से आपको समझ में आएगा सीरियस ओके सिमिलरली उसी में आप कंट्रास्ट वर्क कर सकते हो हाइलाइट्स वर्क कर सकते हो शेडोज सीरियस हाइलाइट्स मैंने बढ़ाए शेडोज मैंने कम किया मैंने क्या इंट्रोड्यूस किया कंट्रास्ट ओके सो सेम सेम नॉब फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक एरिया नाउ इसमें एक ट्रिक है ओके देर इज अ वे टू पुल दिस इन अ वेरी स्ट्रेट मैनर अगर आप ऐसे खींचोगे तो ऐसे आड़ा टेढ़ा गिर जाएगा कैसे भी यू हैव अ वेरी लेस कंट्रोल ओवर द द डिरेक्शन ऑफ द फिल्टर अगर यही चीज अगर आप शिफ्ट दबा के क्लिक शिफ्ट क्लिक एंड स्टार्ट ड्रैगिंग ये आपका स्ट्रेट गिरेगा ये देखिए इट्स नॉट मूविंग एनी वेयर इवन दो आई एम मूविंग माई माउस इट्स कमिंग डाउन स्ट्रेट शिफ्ट एंड ड्रैग ओके सेम थिंग फ्रॉम हियर शिफ्ट एंड ड्रैग वन लीनियर मोड अगर आप यही यही अगर आप ऐसे खींचना शुरू करोगे ये देखो आधा टेढ़ा आधा टेढ़ा आ जाएगा ओके सो शिफ्ट एंड ड्रैग ये आपने देखा कैसे रेक्टेंगुलर मैनर में आता है इसके बराबर उल्टा 
इरेडियल फिल्टर रेडियल फिल्टर कैसे गिरता है सर्कल में या एलिप्टिकल में सी दिस आई कैन आई कैन चेंज दिस हाउ एवर आई वॉन्ट ओके हाउ एवर इफ यू वॉन्ट अ परफेक्ट सर्कल शिफ्ट कैसे भी खींचो इसको सिर्फ साइज कम कम ज्यादा होगा शेप क्या रहेगा सर्कल सो शिफ्ट प्लस एनी फिल्टर यू ड्राइंग इट कम्स इन अ परफेक्ट शेप रेक्टेंगल और अ सर्कल नाउ वॉट इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेडियल फिल्टर एंड सर्क्यूलर फिल्टर जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये पार्ट है नीचे का ओके हियर इट इज मोर इजी टू वर्क विद दिस ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर सी ओके दिस इज मोर इजी टू वर्क विथ योर ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर हाउ एवर इवन इट इज इजी टू वर्क विथ योर सर्क्यूलर फिल्टर सी So, जो एरिया अप्लाई होगा ये इसके अंदर होगा ओके okay, आपको देखना है कहां पे अप्लाई हो रहा है सी दिस प्रेस ओ तो आपका वो डाई गिर जाएगा नाउ रेडियंट परफेक्ट सर्कल ना आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इट एन इलॉगेशन फॉर दिस शेप इसलिए मैंने सीधा सिर्फ खींचा अगर मुझे परफेक्ट सर्कल में चाहिए किसी भी जगह पे जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मुझे यहाँ पे एक सोर्स ऑफ लाइट क्रिएट करना है और अगर मुझे परफेक्ट सर्कल में खींचना है देन आई प्रेस शिफ्ट एन सी मैंने वर्ड मैंने वर्ड क्या यूज किया था अगर आपको परफेक्ट सर्कल चाहिए तो शिफ्ट एन शिफ्ट एन ड्रैग अगर आपको एलिप्टिकल चाहिए तो आप विदाउट शिफ्ट खींचिए तो आपको एलिप्टिकल शेप आएगा एंड टू गेट दिस गेट दिस डाई इन बिटवीन मतलब कहां पे इफेक्ट आने वाला है सिर्फ ओ नो शिफ्ट प्लस ओ सिर्फ ओ ओके ओनली ओ ओ फॉर अरेज तो नो सी दिस दिस इज दिस इज फॉर सेंटर मतलब अंदर मेरा इफेक्ट गिरने वाला है ओके हाउ एवर हाउ एवर इफ आई वॉन्ट दिस इफेक्ट डू बी आउट साइड दिस सर्कल there is a small button called as invert i just uncheck this kaha aa gaya bahar aa gaya circle mein kuch hai nahi hai kuch hai par wo kyu hai main wo batata hu okay now see this so this invert will decide if you want it outside the circle or inside the circle agar red andar rahega to andar ki taraf effect girega agar red bahar bahar rahega to bahar ki taraf effect rahega okay Now, I'll just show you what is happening over here. Okay, यहाँ पे feather नाम का एक slider है. You know what is feather? Feather is nothing but the softness in the effect. अगर मैं feather पीछे लेके आता हूँ, okay? And if I press O and if I increase, if I draw this, hmm? now if I press O, see the harshness of the red of the dye. इफेक्ट का हार्शनेस इतना ही हार्श गिरेगा सी दिस ओके इफ आई इन इफ आई रिड्यूस इफ आई रिमूव दिस एंड इफ आई प्लेस दिस फेदर टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ओके एंड इफ आई देन ड्रॉ दिस सर्कल नाउ सी द इफेक्ट ओ सी द फेदर पार्डन ऑडियो इज ब्रेकिंग my voice is breaking uh, am i audible now better better okay okay so agar aapne dekha hoga ki maine feather ko thoda sa aage aage liya hai iska matlab mera jo ye jo ye rahega softness rahega ye bad gaya now say for example if i increase this feather to 100% and if i increase this this thing see the feather is very soft and now if i give this can you see the nice beautiful way of adding a gradient in the image very nice source of light that you are able to create okay 
so this is the filter now i am coming to the very interesting part of using these filters and i am doubtful that jinko bhi lightroom pata hai jinhone bhi um, uh, radial filters or uh, graduated filters use kiye hai i doubt ki aapne ye kabhi dekha hoga Pardon, you want to undo the changes? Yeah, just one step back. One step back. Control Z. Oh, we don't know. Either all the shortcuts we don't know. Aja, control. I'll I'll give you the shortcuts. Uh, just remind me once um, before the session ends. I'll give you a link where you will get all the shortcuts for okay, Lightroom. Right. Ah, uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. I'll give you a link for the shortcuts. Huh? So now, um. see uh, what what i am going to show you is very very powerful um okay ye maine kya kiya mujhe kya karna hai now now see okay i want to use this radial filter and apply an effect only for the highlights can i do that first answer my question can i do that or do that or can i or can i do or I won't be able to do that. Tell me this thing. What is your? You can do it. You can do it. How? With that uh, next one, that uh, the adjustment. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I take this circle. Okay. And I put a filter. Okay. Now, with this high, this is what you are saying, right? With this, I can do that, right? This is this is what you are saying, right, Doctor Anand? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. As I said earlier, that Lightroom is a global adjustment tool. Okay. So with this, if I increase highlights, say for example, all the 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 highlights in all the areas are going to increase. See this, even these darks are also getting bright. My question is. Me, me, now see this. Now, now my area is this. It may say I want to remove only the highlights and only in that effect. I can do that. I can do that. Can do. Can do. Can do. How? Can do. Can do. Can do. How? Do the adjustment. The next one. The adjustment. Adjustment. Where? 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 The one next to the radial filter. This one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now my question is: Can you segregate the highlights and shadows in this? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you can't, right? It, it's so merged in in between that even with a brush tool, I don't know where my highlights are, where my shadows are. So even if I apply my brush tool, it will all be choppy and um, patchy. Am I correct? So now. there is a very very powerful tool that i'm going to teach you all that is called as range mask luminosity okay range mask luminosity okay where to find that once you pull this layer once you pull this radial filter pay very fine attention okay once you pull this radial filter you see this range mask at the bottom which is saying off at the moment Which is saying off. I click on this and I go to luminance. Once I go to luminance, it gives me three options. One is show luminance mask, one is a range, and one is the smoothness. Okay. Now what I do is, I first click on this show luminance mask. So now it is showing me the range from. Shadows to highlights complete. Where where is my effect going to be applied on all this area through this entire patch? Okay. Now my question to you earlier was, if I want to apply a specific effect only on the highlights, will I be able to do that? Now here is my answer. If I limit this range only to my highlights, see. so this is the area of my highlight 
say for example this is the area of my highlights let's say okay so now whatever effect is going to be applied is going to be applied only on the highlights my shadows have been removed from the selection see and now the moment i click on this my mask comes back to normal and now see the magic if i am just going to increase the highlights the highlights are just going to increase on the on the i mean the exposure is going to increase on the highlights only okay now similar way can i underexpose only my shadows the answer is yes i move this back i click on show luminance mask and i limit my selection only to shadows see this only to shadows okay once i'm done with this i click this show luminance mask baki ko change ho raha hai only the highlights only the shadows are changing now where is this used where is this used first of all to create such kind of separated effects one Highlights का effect अलग, shadow का effect अलग. I'll I'll demonstrate that. See, now see this is this is my shadows which I'm working on. I'm reducing the temperature of the shadows down. See this. मैंने blues कर दिया shadows को. And now if I want to increase the high the temperature of the highlights, I select this new radial filter. I again apply the radial filter. okay i go in this range mask luminance show luminance mask i select only the highlights see this only the highlights useful samajh mein aaya maine kya kiya yeah somewhat <laughs> okay so anyways you are going to get the recording when you see it very properly and like you know when you try, try to absorb it in you will be able to understand what i'm actually doing i'm creating two different radial filters one for highlight one for shadows maine shadows ke radial filter mein range mask mein luminosity mein jaake maine sirf uh, uh, shadows select kiya एंड जो मेरे को उसमें इफेक्ट देना था मैंने दे दिया सी दिस आई गो टू माय दिस इज माय शैडोज ना सी दिस इज माय शैडोज इसमें मुझे अगर सैचुरेशन भी बढ़ाना है तो मैंने वो ही एरिया के लिए बढ़ाया जो मेरा शैडोज के लिए था नो आई शो यू वेयर दिस कम्स हैंडी ओके से फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव दिस मंकी ओके एंड मुझे इसके हाइलाइट्स और शैडोज को सेपरेट करना है हाउ विल आई डू इट आई विल गो टू दिस radial filter i'll pull a nice radial filter on its body see okay maine radial filter dal diya okay now see okay now i have to go to this range mask luminance and now i have to first select do i want to work on its highlights or do i want to work on its shadows you question yourself if your answer is highlights what you do is ye jo slider hai see till this center see this this is the center 50 iske pehle kya hai aapke sab shadows hai to humne shadows ko nikal liya apne sirf kya consider kiya hai bhi highlights so see If I change this, you will be able to see only the highlights. See, these are the only highlights that you are seeing. Shadows is missing. Nikal gaya. Now see, what I am doing is, I have just pushed it a little bit up, so that all my highlights are taken into consideration. You, my highlights are gone. All monkey's ke back. Ka, okay. और मैं इसमें सिर्फ जाके क्या करने वाला हूँ आई जस्ट अनचेक दिस सो दैट आई स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग माय इफेक्ट मुझे क्या करना है हाइलाइट्स को और एनहेंस करना है ये लीजिए ओनली द हाइलाइट्स हैव बीन एनहांस्ड शेडोज को अभी तक मैंने हाथ नहीं लगाया है ओके सिमिलरली सेकंड वे मुझे क्या करना है अभी शेडोज पे काम करना है 
सेम मंकी के बैक के ऊपर तो मैं क्या करूंगा दूसरा रेडियल फिल्टर खींचूंगा दिस इज ओनली फॉर द शेडोज ओके यही हो गया ये शेडोज का रेडियल फिल्टर आई कैन गो टू रेंज मास लुमिनंस नाउ व्हाट आई वांट टू डू आई वांट टू वर्क ऑन द शेडोज सो शेडोज क्या है 50 के नीचे ये देखिए दिस इज द रेंज ऑफ योर शेडोज ब्लैक्स टू मिड टोन्स इज ऑल योर शेडोज तो मैं क्या करूंगा यहां पे ये अप्लाई करूंगा नाउ सी दीज आर ऑल योर शेडोज और इसमें मुझे क्या करना है आई वांट टू रिड्यूस माय एक्सपोजर आई वांट टू मे बी प्रोबेबली वर्क ऑन द टेंपरेचर आई कैन डू एनीथिंग सो सी दिस आई अनचेक दिस ओके मेरा सिलेक्शन हो गया सिलेक्शन होने के बाद मेरे को मास्क की कुछ जरूरत ही नहीं है and i uh, i just remove the luminance mask selection and i work on my shadows you see okay now say for example i want to give my highlights a warm temperature okay this is how i do it see before after okay now i'll i'll demonstrate this on these on these trees okay say for example i'm using this radial filter a graduated filter now okay i pull this graduated filter okay then with the range mask on luminance what i do is i first take this luminance mask with the help of this luminance mask i am actually able to see where my effect is going to fall okay you can also do that with o okay that is not a problem this is also a marker o is also a marker ha ye hone ke baad aapko abhi isme kya effect karna hai highlights effect karna hai for example so see you have to keep on asking yourself ki what do i want to effect in this answer comes highlights simple if the answer is highlights You set the highlight parameter कि आपको कितना हाईलाइट चाहिए आपको इतना ज्यादा हाईलाइट चाहिए आपको सिर्फ स्पेसिफिक हाईलाइट चाहिए या आपका हाईलाइट आ गया ओके हाईलाइट मिलने के बाद वॉट यू डू इज वन यू आर हैप्पी सी द क्वेश्चन इज आर यू हैप्पी विद द एग्जिस्टिंग सिलेक्शन द आंसर शुड कम येस और नो इफ येस जस्ट अनचेक दिस बॉक्स और आपको इसके साथ जो इफेक्ट डालना है वो आप डाल सकते हो सी दिस i can work on the temperature i can work on the tint i can work on exposure i can work on contrast whatever you want whatever you want you can work on saturation sharpness noise and this is where noise reduction comes into picture abhi aapko samajh mein aaya kyun maine whole wale isme noise kyun nahi karne ke liye bola यहाँ पे नॉइज रिडक्शन इज वेरी वेरी पावरफुल आपको जहां कर रहे हैं वहीं पे नॉइज रिडक्शन होगा फालतू की जगह पे नॉइज रिडक्शन होगा ही नहीं ओके okay, तो यहाँ पे यू कैन वर्क ऑन ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स अभी देखिए अगर मैं यहाँ पे ये यह करता हूं रीसेट करता हूं एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एड अइस ऑरेंज कलर टू दिस हाईलाइट सी मैंने ऑरेंज कलर लिया सेचुरेशन मैंने मेरे को मुझे जो चाहिए वो रखा मेरे सिर्फ हाइलाइट्स पे ऑरेंज टोन आ गया है सिमिलरली आई गो फॉर माय सेकंड रेडियो ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर ओनली फॉर माय शैडोज नाउ जस्ट इग्नोर दिस बिकॉज आई एम जस्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग दिस टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज माय शैडोज दिस इज फॉर माय शैडोज आई जस्ट गो फॉर दिस रेंज मास लुमिनंस Show range mask. Now I want to work on my shadows. So see, these are all my shadows. Masking. Here, pe masking ka concept hai. See this. Wherever there is red, there is shadows. Wherever there is no red, there are no shadows. Abhi mujhe ye samjh mein aaya ki mera ye wala jo area hai. Yaha pe main yaha pe khid sakta ho idhar tak. Ye mera shadows select ho gaya jaha pe red tha. I just uncheck my box. and i reduce my temperature dekha kaise maine dual tone laya isme highlights are warm 
shadows are cold and this is the only way in which you can work on selective edits however even this doesn't have selective colors but at least you can work on highlights and shadows or usme aapko kya chahiye ye aap kar sakte ho manage okay so same thing matlab same thing is with this brush okay main abhi ek kaam karta hu i'll just remove these um um okay same thing is with this brush see this brush now is brush mein there are three uh, basically three things that you have to keep in mind one is the size one is the feather and one is the flow okay feather to maine aapko already explain kar diya hai ki the 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 softness of the brush is nothing but your feather flow is the power with which the effect is going to be affected okay so and size is you all know the size is this one however what i suggest every time if you want to work on the size instead of working it through the slider your mouse scroll wheel works as your size optimizer see this i am doing this with the mouse mouse size or the mouse scroll wheel okay now again as i said press o start brushing okay अभी आपको सिर्फ यही एरिया में आपको कुछ भी इफेक्ट लाना है इस एरिया में आपको क्या करना है आपको से फॉर एग्जांपल हाइलाइट्स पे टारगेट करना है ओके हाइलाइट्स पे आप कैसे टारगेट करोगे यू ऑलरेडी हैव द आंसर रेंज मास्क लुमिनेंस ओके और इसमें आपको क्या करना है ओनली और हाइलाइट्स सी दिस हाइलाइट्स को टारगेट किया अनचेक दिस ओनली द हाइलाइट्स एब्सोल्युटली पावरफुल टूल एंड इसी में हम लोग नॉइज रिडक्शन अप्लाई करते हैं कि से फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम वर्किंग ऑन दिस एरिया मुझे सिर्फ यही एरिया में से नॉइज रिडक्शन करना है व्हाट यू डू इज यू मेक श्योर दैट योर फेदर इज अ बिट हार्श ओके फ्लो इज 100% so that you see your whatever your like you know um jaha pe ye apply hone wala hai see so maine main kya kar raha hu ki mujhe monkeys ko nahi lena hai isme so what i do is i start painting around the monkeys see okay I'm not. I'm just not doing it for the entire thing. Okay. यहाँ पे मुझे अगर eraser use करना है तो यहाँ पे erase button है. I'll just go over here and I'll just remove whatever. It's like a normal brush. I just remove it from here and I keep on brushing the entire thing unless and until I have the entire patch except the monkeys. And now through this you can just reduce your noise. सिंपल सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग द एंटायर थिंग मतलब सी नॉइज में अगर आप नो सी एट दिस लेवल अगर मैं ओ प्रेस करता हूं जैसे आपका सब सिलेक्शन हो जाएगा ओके सी दिस आई मीन इंक्रीजिंग द नॉइज गया नॉइज वहां से दिख रहा है आपको जस्ट गिव मी ये सर नो See this. This is noise back again. This is noise yeah. gone. Only at the specific area. आपको highlight से सिर्फ noise निकालना है आप highlight से भी noise निकाल सकते हो. How? Luminosity. Range mask luminosity. आपको अगर सिर्फ shadows से noise निकालना है आप कर सकते हो कैसे range mask luminosity. Otherwise आपको एक पूरे area से noise निकालना है आप कैसे कर सकते हो brush. okay now what i'm going to do we already have half hour remaining okay we can extend till 11:30 i'm not uh, worried about that but i now i don't want to bore you with all this i want to actually show you the process flow on a complete image i want to edit a complete image in front of you and show you the application of all these tools 
okay otherwise what will happen so healing and cloning and all that uh cloning uh, see clone healing is basically done through this healing tool okay but that that uh, thing, the size reduction and uh, uh, how to make it big and small how to reverse it yeah so it is it is it is done uh, the size is uh, change using the scroll wheel again see there is uh, agar aap yahan pe aate ho na to aapka jo aapka jo size hai wo yahan se control ho jayega okay but again usme kya hoga na कि उसमें आपको एक्चुअल मतलब सी नाउ से फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर दिस पार्ट आई वांट अ स्पेसिफिक साइज और दिस पार्ट आई वांट अ बिगर साइज तो आप यहाँ पे आके वही चीज बार बार ना ना करने से अच्छा यू कैन डू इट यूजिंग द स्क्रोल व्हील ऑन द फ्लाई सी दिस ओके सेम थिंग जैसे मैंने ब्रश का दिखाया था फेदर एंड ओपेसिटी सेम एप्लीकेशन फेदर मतलब आपका सॉफ्टनेस ऑफ द इफेक्ट ओके जैसे कि फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज आई हैव रिड्यूस माय कंप्लीट फेदर नाउ एंड इफ आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस इट विल टेक अ एरिया फ्रॉम द मोस्ट मतलब दिस इज ऑल आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वो खुद का खुद ले लेगा कि कहा से मुझे ये लेना है नाउ बाय चांस इफ इट डजेंट डू इट प्रॉपरली यू ऑलवेज हैव द ऑप्शन टू गिव इट अ टारगेट ऑफ योर चॉइस ये सिर्फ क्लिक एंड ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉ simple uh, no I, i didn't understand that you uh, click it how to uh, done or you have to press done or uh, no 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 wait uh, wait I'll, i'll i'll show you once again i'll show you once again so see this is your um uh, this thing uh, apna spot removal tool okay now how to remove say for example this is a spot that i want to remove okay i just i just hover my brush onto that i make sure that my brush is good enough size to cover the entire spot okay yeah i hover okay. i hover over it and i just click on top of it so what it does is it does its own calculations it searches for all the spots in the entire image ki kaun sa spot kahan se leke agar main isme dal du to ye merge ho jayega okay ये सब अपने आप करेगा इट इज ऑल लाइक यू नो आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यू डोंट नीड टू डू एनीथिंग हाउ एवर एज वी से यू कैन नॉट ट्रस्ट मशीन कभी कभार वो कर देता है गलती कुछ इधर उधर का अनाप शराब जाके उधर डाल देगा देन यू हैव एन ऑप्शन आप सी दिस इज योर सोर्स दिस इज योर डेस्टिनेशन ओके यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक द डेस्टिनेशन एंड गिव इट अ सोर्स ऑफ योर चॉइस Yeah. Okay. For example, here. Yeah. Then. Okay. Once this is done, say for example, this is done. Okay. I just have to click done. Okay. Ah. Okay. 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 So yeah, yeah. when do you click done? Now this can be done n number of times. Say for example, मुझे ये red red cheese नहीं चाहिए. मुझे ये पत्ता नहीं चाहिए. मुझे इसका नाक भी नहीं चाहिए. मुझे इसका कान भी नहीं चाहिए. तो मैंने चार पांच बार किया और मैंने जैसे ही डन बोला वो हो गया एंड यू वांट रिवर्स रिवर्स इट चेंज कंट्रोल जेड कंट्रोल जेड कंट्रोल जेड कंट्रोल जेड कंट्रोल जेड टेक्स यू बैक ओके थैंक्स ओके सो दिस नो रॉकेट साइंस स्पॉट रिडक्शन टूल इज वेरी वेरी इजी the reason i don't teach it in detail is because then what happens is then you start removing trees and uh, all the natural aspects of the image okay however uh, it is very helpful when removing dust particles from the sensor and what dust dust black spots are there na wo nikalne ke liye very very powerful but um, don't remove trees otherwise it goes into manipulation okay no okay. fact okay now uh, again there is something called as red eye uh, red eye is basically for those uh, like you know people who uh, shoot parties and all those things and they use flash and uh, like you know it's very simple agar aap ye dekhiye ye you just uh, draw this circle on the eye aur wo yahan se red eye wo flash ka jo red eye aata hai na wo nikal dega okay 
वेरी सिंपल अभी उसको रेड आय नहीं मिल रहा है तो उसने एरर डाल दिया हाउ एवर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द लुमिनस मास्क I am going to demonstrate the entire workflow on an image now. Okay, so it has just find a good image to work on, where I can show you maximum of the editing part. Let's start with this. Good one. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? So, what is our first step? Press J. I have J the button here. Second step, I, I'll just uh, come back to this. Uh, wait a moment. Ah, uh. uh, okay. So, second, the thing is Adobe Standard. Hmm. Third step is remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. Now, see the huge difference. See this. Hmm. So, enable profile correction. Now, iske baad, what we do is. crop now see this there is a huge space which is not required okay so what i'm doing is i'm cropping it in such a way that my lines end at the this this line so two third are my lines one third is my blank space Okay, so if I do this, I'll just increase the. Okay, okay, this is my crop. Secondly, I want the lines to be ending at my one third area at the bottom. See this. Okay, so my crop set has been. I am giving good enough space on the left hand side. Now you see this. The space at the bottom is useless. It's all redundant. the space the space at the left is all redundant again useless space and the space on the top is again redundant okay it is just waste of space that's all so that is why i am giving it a nice good enough crop ye mera ho gaya crop maine crop kis mein kiya hai 2 is to 3 mein hi kiya hai i haven't changed my crop uh, this thing i haven't uh, changed my crop uh, uh, aspect ratio okay now going ahead they, i have finished my crop i have to now set the white balance so first thing first how to set the white balance very easy very easy set this to daylight set this to uh, sorry set this to um um daylight yes 5 uh, sorry 5500 okay thoda sa warm ho gaya hai now this is the part where matlab this is the center part where i can start to calibrate okay so i'm just reducing it now kabhi kabhi aise hota hai ki you are at a point you take it to the center point and recalibrate you get a much um like you know i would say finer selection earlier it was at 5300 now i am at 5356 very minute change but a good way to calibrate your temperature there is one more uh, good way to understand if your temperatures are good your white uh, white part should represent white if they are yellow or if they are blue then your white balance is not correct so over here if you see the beard it is more towards white than yellow or blue so this is how i also made my decision to set this to this color temperature again um right now i am doing this my value is 5356 next time i might do it my value might be 5 5370 it depends from time to time it is all on your perception okay secondly i'm i'm setting this tint to zero okay not required at the moment my picture is not green nor magenta so i am setting it to zero now as i said earlier if you remember i always under expose my images so what i am doing i am just under exposing my images so that i am avoiding any spectacular highlights on the image jaise ki ye ye part hai yeah there are some parts which are really bright 
I'm just reducing my exposure to underexposed the image. Okay. Now, my image after reading my uh, this thing after reading my um, um, what I'm saying uh, histogram, there are no spectacular highlights. There are no spectacular shadows. However, I'm still seeing these black marks. Okay. And what does what does these uh, sorry these blue marks and what does blue represent? Shadows or blacks. So now I have to adjust those blacks. Okay. So what I have done is I have underexposed the image slightly. Okay. I am taking my highlights down. Okay. I am increasing my shadows. Gaye wo black uh, the blue parts nikal gaye. Okay. इसमें से और एक एडवांटेज ये हो गया कि मेरे जो डिटेल्स है शेडोज में वो भी ऊपर आ गया वो भी निकल के आ गए नाउ व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम जस्ट गिविंग इट अ स्लाइट ऑफ कंट्रास्ट ओके ये मेरा हो गया कंट्रास्ट नाउ looking at this now i am feeling that my image is a bit of warm it it is still bit warm i can again go and reduce my temperature and this is the actual beauty of lightroom ki aapka kahi bhi kuch bhi damage ya permanent hone se pehle you are just able to move your sliders and make the changes and get done with it it does not affect your image directly this is just a link of the like you know how i will say this this is just a, a true copy of your original image that's all your true your original image is still not hampered in any way hmm ye ho gaya mera contrast add kar diya maine what i had told you temperature 10 clarity 10 okay behaves i am not uh, planning to use at the moment you will still see blue marks over here but they are really very negligible like you know two dots one dot here so it's absolutely okay unless and until it is really hampering your image okay now what i am going to do is i am setting this to 25 okay however i feel that this color is a bit over powering so i'm just reducing the value okay i do not want to touch the vibrance because even if i touch the uh, sorry the saturation a bit it is going to make the image very vibrant and warm so i don't want to do that okay now i'll still again go back and see that my temperature is temperature has gone a bit warm again i have the liberty to just go back and tone down the temperature so you see how i am revisiting the slider again and again you can revisit the sliders again and again if you feel that those values are going wonky somewhere okay so pehle maine jo kiya wo basic tha now as and how i'm progressing i'm again keeping a check on all the parameters are my, is my exposure increasing anywhere is my temperature going to warm or to cold is my contrast going to uh, like you know harsh so i can make sure that everything is in place hmm? now see this i select this anchor part and what i'm doing is i'm just increasing this a bit see so maine kya kiya maine i am increasing it from the mid tones itself okay thoda sa maine uthaya okay and um this part over here it is the same part matlab jo maine pehle uthaya to wahi hai uh shadows ka pe hai thode se just reduce the shadows a bit okay i don't want to make it look too um this thing ओके ये मेरा हो गया इट्स इट्स यू सी इट इज वेरी निग्लिजिबल आई हैव आई हैव डन एनीथिंग हाउएवर आई विल शो यू द बेसिक एंड द करंट वर्जन दिस इज बेसिक दिस इज योर करंट वर्जन बेसिक 
current version okay still many more things to do okay now once tonal adjustments have been done now see it is not compulsory to do all the things in the same image agar aapko lagta hai ki tonal curves nahi chahiye don't touch it aisa compulsory nahi hai ki aapko karna hi padega don't do it okay now coming back to hsl i am anyways not going to work on the hues i just have to work on the saturation so maine kya kiya i am just taking a sample of orange most probably see orange and yellow maine thoda sa saturation orange and yellow ka bada diya okay now i have to work on different greens so ye dekhiye yahan pe ye jo green hai this is yellow and green okay तो मैंने क्या किया इसका थोड़ा सा सेचुरेशन बढ़ा के लिया हर एक ग्रीन का टोन अलग अलग है इफ यू सी दिस दिस माइट बी येलो एंड वेरी लेस ग्रीन इफ यू सी दिस दिस माइट बी येलोज एंड मोर ग्रीन सो आपको करते जाना है धीरे 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 ये हो गया नाउ इसमें दूसरा कोई कलर है नहीं ज्यादा से ज्यादा इसमें ब्लू रहेगा हाँ ये देखिए सीधे ब्लू एंड स्लाइट ऑफ पर्पल रेड्स भी रहेंगे कहीं तो भी रेड्स तो दिख नहीं रहा है इट्स जस्ट ऑरेंज एंड येलो हाँ यहां पे रहेगा ये देखिए Now you see this reds and magentas both are in getting increased at the same time. Magenta very slowly, reds very drastically. Okay, ये हो गया. उसके बाद I go to luminance. Again, luminance का मुझे क्या करना है? I'm just going to increase the orange and yellow luminance a bit. Okay, blue का मुझे थोड़ा सा ये road का luminance थोड़ा सा ऊपर नीचे करना है. So, मैंने लुमिनेंस थोड़ा सा बढ़ाया नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज द लुमिनेंस ऑफ द ग्रास अ बिट सो दोनों में येलोज है इवन द लाइन एंड लाइन हैव येलोज एंड माई ग्रासेस ऑल्सो हैव येलोज सो दोनों पे इफेक्ट पड़ रहा है बट आई हैव टू बी अट केयरफुल अबाउट दैट ओके ये हो गया आफ्टर दैट आई हैव टू कम आप मुझे थोड़ा सा आई फील दैट माई कॉन्ट्रास्ट इज लैकिंग समवेयर ओके सो दिस इज माई माई इमेज प्रिपेरेशन ओके इसके बाद आई एम नाउ गोइंग टू गो टूवर्ड माई एडवांस थिंग ओके सो वॉट आई डू फर्स्टली आई गो फॉर माई ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर सी ये मैंने खींच लिया मुझे ये पार्ट पे फोकस करना है ये जो नीचे का ग्रास है फोरग्राउंड यहाँ पे फोकस करना है ना व्हाट आई डू इज अगर मैं डायरेक्टली यहाँ पे ये स्लाइडर्स घुमाता हूं तो इफेक्ट पड़ेगा बट अगेन यू डोंट हैव द कंट्रोल ओवर व्हाट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन ओके तो इसमें क्या करना है रेंज मास्क लुमिनेंस ना वॉट सो सिलेक्ट दिस फर्स्ट ये सिलेक्ट करने के बाद आपको समझ में आए, आएगा कि ये आधा अधूरा ही सिलेक्टेड हुआ है पूरा यहां तक सिलेक्टेड ही नहीं है तो व्हाट आई डू इज आई जस्ट ग्रैब दिस अपर लेयर अपर लाइन एंड जस्ट पुल इट अ स्लाइटली अप सी दिस तो मेरा क्या हुआ यहां तक पूरा मेरा सिलेक्ट हो गया ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वन मोर थिंग अगर आपको लगता है कि आपका कहीं किसी एरिया के बाहर जा रहा है तो देर इज अ वेरी सिंपल वे देर इज अ ब्रश टूल इन दिस इन रेडियल फिल्टर यू जस्ट सिलेक्ट दिस ब्रश एंड दिस विल वर्क एज योर रेग्युलर ब्रश टूल ओके नाउ इन दिस डोंट कंफ्यूज दिस विद दिस ब्रश ओके दिस इज ब्रश इन द ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर आपको क्या करना है थोड़ा सा फेदर में बढ़ाता हूं फ्लो में थोड़ा कम करता हूं एंड आई जस्ट सॉरी आई जस्ट इरेज द एरिया विच आई डोंट वॉन्ट सी मुझे क्या करना है सिर्फ ग्रास तक मेरा लिमिट करना है 
so i am just remaining all the areas above the grass and i am just including all the areas of the grass see hmm. आप ये ब्रश से भी कर सकते हो आप ये ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर से भी कर सकते हो ओके सो दिस आई हैव सिलेक्टेड नाउ व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज आई हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट ओनली माय हाइलाइट्स आर गोइंग टू बी इफेक्टेड सी दिस सो दीज आर ओनली माय हाइलाइट्स ये मैंने सिलेक्शन कर लिया टिक निकाल दिया एंड नाउ आई जस्ट इंक्रीज माई हाईलाइट सो सी only the highlights in the highlights are increasing okay i plan to increase my exposure serious aa gaya texture usme grass mein bhi difference aa gaya texture mein hmm? my whites are becoming a bit brighter okay main yaha pe tint leke main thoda sa color correction bhi thoda thode had tak kar sakta hu serious Don't use this too extravagantly, otherwise your uh, your uh, selection of that area will go for a toss. This you can basically try to like you know work with like um, थोड़ा सा color correction इधर उधर ज़्यादा नहीं. Hmm? Saturation में थोड़ा सा बढ़ा सकता हूँ. This is working only for highlights, huh, by the way, not for the shadows. What I am doing is again go for the अभी मैंने पहले किससे किस किया था ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर से किया था नाउ आई एम शोइंग यू हाउ टू डू इट विद द ब्रश सी सो मैं ओ मारता हूं दिस आई एम सिलेक्टिंग विद द ब्रश नाउ ये हो गया यहां से मैं थोड़ा सा ये पार्ट निकाल देता हूं ये पार्ट निकाल दिया मैंने ओके अगेन आई गो टू माय रेंज मास यहां पे जाता हूं मैं ओके आई गो टू माय रेंज मास लुमिनेंस नाउ व्हाट आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट ओनली माय शैडोज तो शैडोज कहां से होगा यहां से होगा सी ओनली द शैडोज ओके नाउ इसमें और एक ऑप्शन है देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज स्मूथनेस सो यू कैन increase or decrease the smoothness this will determine the merging of the areas to some extent to main kya kar raha hu thoda sa smoothness maine bada ke liya taki ise patches patches na dikhe okay i uncheck this and what i have to do i have to decrease the exposure a bit slightly taki mera ye acche se bahar aa jaye okay then what i can do is i can Add a bit of blues in it for the shadows. Thoda sa, slightly, not too much. Okay, and thoda sa, shadows me ne enhance kar diya. So now, you see the before of the grass and after of the grass. Before of the grass, after of the grass. Okay, if you still feel ki apka thoda sa. एक्सेस हो गया यू कैन जस्ट गो हेड क्लिक ऑन दैट ग्रेजुएटेड फिल्टर एंड इफ यू फील कि नहीं थोड़ा थोड़ा एक्सेस हो गया यू कैन जस्ट रीअरेंज योर स्लाइडर्स सिंपल ओके सिमिलरली यू कैन गो टू योर ब्रश ब्रश में यहां पे एंकर है जस्ट एनेबल दैट एंकर अगर आपको लगता है कि आपने थोड़ा ज्यादा कर लिया तो आप एडिट कर लो सिंपल क्या करना है स्लाइडर से तो खींचना है इधर उधर सिंपल है ना अगेन अभी हम लोग थोड़ा सा लाइन्स पे काम करते हैं ओके इन द मिड नाइम शो यू वन मोर सिंपल ट्रिक वेरी इजी ट्रिक अभी मुझे क्या करना है अभी मुझे ऊपर वाले ग्रास को इफेक्ट देना है ओवेबर देर आर द लाइन्स इन बिटवीन ओवेबर आई नो वॉट कलर इट इज द ग्रास सो वट आई एम डूइंग I'm instead of working on luminosity, I'm now going to work on color. How? Range mask. Instead of luminance, I go to color. Now, in this, Lightroom allows you to make or utilize five different shades of colors. 
okay only five okay so what i'm doing is i'm ta taking samples so there is something called as this eyedropper it says use the color range selector to sample colors within the mask area click plus drag your greater accuracy or shift plus click to add multiple samples so see this i have taken this dropper i add this okay i take first sample second sample i am taking of this yellow second sample third sample of this intense green fourth sample from here and fifth sample from somewhere around this dark greens okay ho gaye five samples mere okay now along with these samples see the moment i press o it shows me what all has been selected okay now however what has happened is since i selected this yellow over here this yellow also got selected okay main ek kaam karta hu okay and now what i have to do is i have to go to the brush and erase of the unrequired parts you see erase of the unrequired parts uh is it okay if i leave i have to get up early tomorrow morning. yeah yeah sure sure you will anyways get the recording don't worry yeah yeah so yes. thank you yes 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 no problem. yeah bye bye yeah bye bye so what i do is i just remove this these lines from the selection and i just apply the this thing so see i'm just increasing the tint a bit to give a slight yellow uh, greenish tone slight yellow to make it look nice reduce the exposure slightly so that my focus comes on my lines otherwise my focus goes on my grass if it is too bright okay i increase the whites decrease the uh, increase the darks to introduce uh, this thing um my contrast okay highlights i drop down shadows i bring up to bring out the details okay and if you want saturation you can give a slight shot of saturation okay now what i am going to do is i am going to utilize these radial filter or graduate graduate uh, radial filter simple hai bahut simple hai start making individual selections okay see इसमें आपको क्या करना है एंड यू सी यू आर गोइंग टू डू दिस सेम प्रोसीजर एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टाइम्स इन वन इमेज सो आपको एक इमेज के ना आपको समझ में आना शुरू हो जाएगा सी सो लुमिन मास्क इसमें आपको क्या करना है हाईलाइट्स पे आपको टारगेट करना है हाईलाइट्स पे आपको टारगेट क्या करना है आपको खुद का खुद आंसर मिल जाएगा ओके ये मेरा फेस हो गया पहला आई जस्ट अनचेक दिस व्हाट आई हैव टू डू हाईलाइट्स इंक्रीज इसमें आप ये भी कर सकते हो टेम्परेचर सॉरी सैचुरेशन तो आपको सैचुरेशन की वैल्यू याद रखनी पड़ेगी सो दैट यू अप्लाई द सेम सैचुरेशन टू ऑल द एरियाज ओके ये हो गया फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट योर सबको so, ये करते जाना है जब तक आपको आपका सी योर सेटिस्फेक्शन इज द मेन थिंग टू कीप ऑन डूइंग इट अनलेस एंड एंटिल यू आर सेटिस्फाइड ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि मैं बोलूंगा तभी तक करना है यू आर नॉट सेटिस्फाइड यू हैव टू डू इट और यू कैन स्टॉप डूइंग इट ये हुआ रेंज मास लुमिन दिस इज 
जस्ट चेक इफ यू आर हैविंग अ गुड सिलेक्शन थोड़ा सा नहीं तो बढ़ाओ एंड हाईलाइट थोड़ा सा इंक्रीज ओके सिमिलरली वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन गो फॉर द शेडोज एज वेल सी ये हो गया शेडोज का पार्ट एंड लुमिनंस शेडोज जस्ट चेक इफ यू गॉट द करेक्ट थिंग परफेक्ट एंड चेक दिस शेडोज थोड़ा सा नीचे ओके थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे आप टोनैलिटी के लिए चेंज कर सकते ओके okay, ये हो गया देन अगेन गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट ये रही बॉडी व्हाट आर यू गोइंग टू डू लुमिनेंस व्हाट एरिया ऑफ द लुमिनेंस ओनली द हाइलाइट्स सी दीज आर ओनली द हाइलाइट्स अब यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा रेंज बढ़ा दो कोई टेंशन नहीं है रेंज बढ़ा दिया ओके व्हाट डू यू वांट टू टारगेट थोड़ा सा हाईलाइट्स एक्सपोजर थोड़ा सा हाईलाइट्स थोड़ा सा टेम्परेचर मैं लेफ्ट कर सकती हूँ अनुपम हाँ हाँ यू कैन यू कैन इफ यू इफ यू आर गेटिंग लेट यू कैन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू रैप इट इन नेक्स्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स दैट्स ऑल ओके ओके रिकॉर्डिंग मिल सकती है मिल जाएगा आई 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 सेंड यू द रिकॉर्डिंग फाइल डायरेक्टली टू योर ईमेल एड्रेस शर्ट शर्ट ओके सबको वैसे ही मिलने वाला है यस थैंक यू सो मच यस थैंक यू � the the trick is to just keep on doing the luminosity mask as and how you want to make sure that your changes are getting applied see this and jitna aap karte rahoge na matlab don't do it out of frustration jitna practice karte rahoge utna aapko easy ho jayega see now ओ सॉरी ये हो गया ना ये ये मेरा शेडोज का है ओके सो रेंज लुमिनेंस मास्क एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू वर्क ऑन शेडोज तो यू सी ओनली द शेडोज हैव बीन सिलेक्टेड यू कैन अलवेज अल्टर दिस प्रॉपर्ली ओके एंड यू कैन जस्ट ड्रॉप द शेडोज ओके, अगेन, ओके यहाँ पे अभी हमें क्या करना है हाइलाइट शेडोज को एनहांस करना है, लुमिनेंस एंड Remember one thing: if you work on highlights, you don't need to work on shadows. If you work on shadows, you don't need to work on highlights because it's like a balance. You can, like you know, target one parameter and your second parameter automatically gets enhanced. Okay, go to brush, erase, just erase off the area which you don't want to get affected. Just remove this. Simple. हो गया एंड सिंपली ऑन दिस जस्ट अनचेक दिस ओके अगेन द सेम एरिया अगर आपको करना है तो यू कैन Luminance and see only the highlights. Okay, थोड़ा सा मैं highlights को ये करता हूँ 
स्मूथनेस उसका रिमूव करता हूँ एंड इंक्रीज द रेंज सो दैट ऑल द हाइलाइट्स आर कवर्ड ओके एंड थोड़ा सा टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज किया एंड ओके इसमें मास्क ऑफ डोमिनेंस ये क्या थोड़ा सा वॉट आई डू आई कवर द इयर्स इज वेल एंड आई जस्ट ब्रश से इरेज इट ऑफ जो अनरिक्वायर्ड पार्ट है एंड यहां पे आगे अनरिक्वायर्ड पार्ट एडिट ओके ब्रश मतलब ब्रश से इरेज खत्म हुआ तो एडिट पे आ जाओ वापस ब्रश पे हो तो होगा नहीं कुछ आई अगेन गो टू दिस ये लुमिनेंस मेरा सेट हो गया अनचेक दिस इन जस्ट इंक्रीज द लुमिनेंस ओके ये हुआ नाउ आई वांट टू गो फॉर माय ब्रश ओके से फॉर एग्जांपल मेरा ये एरिया है जिसमें मुझे इफेक्ट करना है आई जस्ट प्रेस ओ टू सी इफ ऑल माय एरिया हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड ओके सो यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू बी अवेयर कि आपको कौन से एरिया में कौन सा टूल uh, यूज करना है आपको अगर रेडियल फिल्टर से ही सब कुछ करना है यू आर मोस्ट योर योर मतलब दैट्स योर चॉइस बट एज आई शोड यू ऑल द थ्री थिंग्स यू डिसाइड कि अगर बहुत ही कॉम्प्लेक्स जगह है देन यू कैन सिलेक्ट फॉर अ ब्रश ओके सो जैसे ये सिलेक्ट हुआ अगेन आई गो फॉर लुमिनंस See now some parts are not selected. Okay, so what I do is I go to my brush again. I just physically add those areas ki jo shoot gaye hai, and it will only add the highlights. Okay, it will never it will never touch the shadows because it knows the range. Okay, ye ho gaya. हम्म हाँ नाउ नाउ व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज आई हैव टू गिव अ सोर्स ऑफ लाइट हाउ विल आई गिव अ इजी सोर्स ऑफ लाइट वेरी सिंपल आई आई सी द बैलेंस ऑफ द सिंडी ब्यूटी शो 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 यस ओके and once i do this i just go to luminance and select this so this is only selecting the highlights and this is just to give a nice beautiful source of light that's all ki kahan se light aa raha hai that's all ye ho gaya and थोड़ा मैं थोड़ा सा हार्श कर लेता हूँ थोड़ा ये रेंज थोड़ा कम कर लिया मैंने आई स्टिल वेंट इन साइड एंड विद दिस आई जस्ट इन चेक दिस ओके अभी यहां से अगर सोर्स ऑफ लाइट है तो यहाँ पे मुझे थोड़ा सा बैलेंस करने के लिए शेडोज डालना पड़ेगा सो वट आई जस्ट डू आई गो ओवर हियर और इसमें वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम जस्ट सिलेक्टिंग द डोमिनेंस 
एंड द शेडोज यहां पे आया एक्सपोजर थोड़ा सा डाउन सो यू सॉ इफ देर इज सोर्स ऑफ लाइट फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट आई एम कॉम्पेन्सेटिंग इट विद द शेडोज फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड ओके and then what i am doing is i am selecting the entire image see now yahan pe maine niche tak drag kar liya iska matlab kya hua yahan tak kahi tak to range aa gaya hai i just pull it a bit down taki mera pura image cover ho gaya mujhe paint nahi karna pada kuch nahi seedha one drag and everything is selected i go to my range mask luminance see the entire image is selected okay i just give a range of all my highlights see all my highlights hmm? i uncheck this i give a slightly warmer temperature okay slightly warmer temperature and a bit of highlights again i go to my radial filter i can do the same thing but now for my shadows niche kheech liya range mask luminance only my shadows and now this time what i'm doing is i'm increasing the softness of this or smoothness of this to merge properly ye ho gaya uncheck okay now the last thing last but not last but not the least what i'm doing is i'm just giving it a slight touch of vibrance yes okay control fit let's see the before and the after so this is the this thing this is the before and this is the after now if you see there is a slight tint of green in the entire image at least i can see it so what i just do is i just compensate it with the magentas okay what i'll do is i'll just uh, create a virtual copy okay reset this okay and let's just compare the before and after i'll just put this over here put this over can you see the difference okay so a lot of good details have come out a lot of good colors have come out whatever the now see this was a very quick edit now everybody's perception about this edit will be it looks a bit grungy now i have done it in a very fast manner now if you if you see this i can just remove reduce this okay slightly tone down a colors bit but again this is this is everybody's self perception i can actually see the details come out very prominently in, as compared to these images this image and this image so you see a difference right all of you hello Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Hmm? So, yeah, yeah. So this is this is basically the entire process flow. The process flow is very simple. It hardly takes around ten minutes to fifteen minutes. Once the moment you start gearing up, like you know, uh, experimenting and uh, playing with it, I can edit an image in hardly five to six minutes in Lightroom. 
as i said it is a very quick editing tool uh, very powerful tool if you apply it properly you will get fantabulous results um the moment you start practicing it now see um what you have learned is very detailed workflow okay people don't even do that just thoda sa exposure highlight shadows um black whites texture clarity vibrance saturation that is what everybody does mostly but luminosity masks and everything is a bit complex and it gives a very beautiful look and feel to the image as well so do practice that and if you feel any doubts or if you have any doubts let me know i am going to add all of you all the participants in a editing group that i own and there we discuss editings and there we discuss um, um, or we critique images and everything so if you face any doubts you can easily ask me for now through the entire session do you have any doubts yeah uh, no no of... but like yeah i like to comment that uh, uh, the difference is really great but mm -hmm. just uh, on the lion mm -hmm. uh, the shoulder and the leg area is still very kind of blurry did you notice that or did you leave it uh, intentional like that or which one this about one? it ah uh, yes 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 it sits in the background na the main focus is over here this is what you see this is what yeah, you mean yeah yeah, yeah yeah so this is this is blurred is what you are seeing right ah uh, yes kind of i will say that whether uh, will it be good if you work on that area as well if you um see again as i said ab jitna karoge utna aapke upar hai now because of the time limits and all i didn't work on it now if you if you really want to see i can actually work go on and uh, keep on working on the highlights and the shadows something like mm. this okay but <laughs> i didn't i didn't because see again and again i have done the same thing over 10 to 15 different areas yes yes, yes. so if you if you see this this is the highlights now if you, if you, if you really want to see the difference i can keep on doing that it it's on you ki kitna karna hai ya kit now now if you see all my images on the instagram each image is extremely extremely detailed now again as i said lightroom is just one small part of the editing process okay i if you ask me how i use lightroom i hardly touch three three or four sliders i do all my editing in photoshop and uh, luminosity masks but lightroom is uh, good for uh, beginners like me yes exactly see lightroom maine jaise bola ki if you are starting to edit the work uh, if you are starting to edit your photos very fresh lightroom is a very good part to start with at least uh, instead of doing nothing or instead of doing something very basic or using softwares like like you know um uh, um nx or nikon nx or canon uh, related software you can actually go for lightroom and actually harnessing the power out of it photoshop it's definitely very powerful lightroom slightly less powerful but impactful for the quick edits all right thank you yes so um uh, i'm i'm I, uh, once the video is ready i'll i'll uh, email the video to all of you on your google drive uh, the video will stay over there for a for a pretty long amount of time if you are able to download the video that is absolutely perfect um uh, however i'll still recommend all of you to download the video at your side so that like you know uh, it becomes very easy for me to like you know clear off the space later on if you are still not able to download what you can do is uh, you can send uh, i already have your email addresses uh, if all of you have uh, google drive how to operate google drive uh, you can just create a new folder and uh, i can send the video in that folder so that you remain the owners of the of the video instead of me and uh, it get deleted from my side okay yeah fine perfect so um we'll get back in touch i'll add you to the new group and uh, i hope you like the new the the session all together
अनुपमजी द सेशन वाज अमेजिंग सॉरी द सेशन वाज अमेजिंग देर आर मेनी थिंग्स वी लर्न्ड लाइक डिफरेंट वे द फीचर्स वे आई वाज नोइंग बट एक्चुअल प्रैक्टिकल इंप्लीमेंटेशन वाज डिफरेंट सिंस यू आर मोर एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस एडिटिंग and the major maybe over the sharing screen sharing maybe the resolution is uh, not that much that's why we are not able to see major exactly. many things exactly that effectively exactly yeah. I, but I, definitely I, we need to practice more to see the actual uses exactly um see uh, i i i think that the recording might be um, much better than what you might have seen on the screen share uh, i just hope so uh because that happens generally but as i said like you know if you have any doubts you can come back any time uh, in future if you want any image to be edited and if you want a video of that image to be uh, like you know image being edited by me that i can do as well i don't have any issues so the only thing is you have to practice practice and practice that's all yes yes definitely hmm? thank you very much Yes thank you thank you guys and uh, have a great day ahead and uh, do uh, let me know in case you have any uh, like you know uh, image to be edited or yeah. anything hmm? Yeah sure sure Chalo and looking forward for uh, such kind of sessions Definitely. in future all I'll keep updated uh, you can directly yeah Definitely. thank you thank you sir All right thank yeah. you good night thank you thank you sushil sir thank you sandeep sir thank you thank you Thank you. Yes.